Welcome to my stream! How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Stop doing shit at me! How are you doing? Okay, that's good enough for me. Hi! Thank you for the recent 23 month sub anniversary oh with the spookiest villainess I know. Villa 51 heart happy PSL month cutie. Villa 51 heart. <laughs> Thank you, Angel, for resubscribing for 23 months. Thank you! Okay, let's say hi to everybody. Let's see. Hello, Boon. Hello, Rose. Hello. Who else is here? Sleepy Jogging Hydra! <laughs> Sorry, Sleep Jogging Hydra. <laughs> I love that name. Cogrill! How are you doing? Pip, how are you doing? Benny, how are you doing? Locker, thank you for changing game category. We're gonna be in just chatting for a long time. Um, how else? Phantom, how are you doing? Spiffy, how are you doing? Um, did I miss anybody else? Archibald, how are you doing? Um, Anjo, how are you doing? Ramen? I had lots of ramen. <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> Benjizo, how are you doing? And Rod, how are you doing? How are you doing, everybody? I hope you guys are doing great. Okay. I don't want to be back. <laughs> I want to stay in Japan. I don't want to come back. Oh god, I'm still so tired. I need a vacation from my vacation. I'm vibing. How's the bell? I'm doing good. I just came back from my holidays. That's why I was gone. I was on a Halloween spooky holiday uh, in Japan. How about you migrate to Japan? I'm thinking of it. I've got <laughs> you got a week because we're booked off work, so you're relaxing. Nice. Nice. Change the title, just yapping about my vacation. Even if I do that, give me a second. Oh! I did not change the title from last week. Last, last week. I completely forgot to change the title of my stream. Give me a second. Yapping about my vacation, about my spooky vacation. Plus, maybe some game. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I completely fucking forgot. Sorry, guys. I forgot how to stream. Okay. Um, will you play Silent Hill 2? Not this year. Maybe next year. I'll, I'll wait for everybody to play Silent Hill 2. And if, there is, uh, and if the uh, reviews are good, then I will play it probably next year. I already played Silent Hill 2, like the original. I played it in my first uh, Spook Temper, Spooked Over Spooks. Um, will you try Typing of the Dead? What the fuck is Typing of the Dead? No, 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 not on sale. I actually never buy my games on sale. A lot of people just like yell at me for not buying my games on sale. Uh, it's not because of that, because I already played the original and I'm not sure if I want to. Hey, Niv, thank you for resubscribing! Okay. That's good enough for me. Villa 51 scared. You scared? Good, you better be. <laughs> I don't know what typing of the dead is. It looks good from the gameplay. It's okay. So, um, yeah, I'll most probably wait. Haru! You got the ghost piece stuck under the So fast! I gave her I gave her the ghosty plushies again because it's spooky month. And immediately she got the ghosty plushie stuck under the sofa. Immediately! This girl. Okay. Didn't get the chance to get a shot off on Bell. Wait, what? Huh? The fuck is that? I'm seeing uh, Bim10 playing Typing of the Dead. It's so odd. I have not. I don't know what Typing of the Dead is. I hope you enjoy it, Disney. I did enjoy it. Lots of uh, things. Uh, which reminds me, I'm about to tell you guys more about um, my vacation. Swaggy Star, how are you doing? So, Hara's been having the time of her life at my parents, by the way. She's been getting non-stop 24 hour... Oh, she found the ghostie. She fu she managed to get the ghostie out of the... Oh, GG. Haru GG. Oh god, it's all dusty! Oh god, it's wet! The fuck have you been doing with the ghostie, Haru? You been chomping on it? She's been chomping on the ghosties. The ghostie plushies that I got her like last month. Okay. Anyway. 
Sticky Bakes, how are you doing? Uh, sorry guys, I was gone for like one and a half weeks uh, for holiday and much needed vacation and I really enjoyed myself and Haru uh, seems to be enjoying herself even now. She got herself a brand new collar. Uh, actually, I, I got her two collars. A new brand new leash as well and a cute little play toy as well. Um, she got lots of cool stuff. <laughs> I hope your parents haven't turned Haru into a tubby. No, they have not. I gave them specific instructions. So I don't think I told you guys. Um, I actually wrote a manual. An eight-page manual on how to take care of Haru. I typed it out, printed it out, and gave it to my parents. So <laughs> I said, follow this manual to a T. If you have any questions, message me. I have data roaming. So what I told them. Uh, and they seem to, to, to... I mean, they were fine with Haru. She's fine. I need to write a manual for when I go away for a couple of days. It's wet for my hamster. Oh, no. <laughs> I figured writing a manual now would be, would be good. You know, in case when I get a dog, it's just like copy-paste. Uh, so it's, it's, a probably, it's probably good that I have a manual for, um, for Haru now. So I just need to copy-paste when I get the doggy. Okay, anyway. So, vacation. Uh, before, I, before I get into my vacation, I actually have a few things I want to talk to you about. Um, a few things I want to show you guys. Copy paste. I bought a feed a cat and food to the dog. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, she's already. Oh no. She's, she's gonna. Oh no. She's gonna be rounder. Still looking for a dog. Yes, I am. Uh, I actually found a place to buy a dog. I'm just waiting. For the right opportune moment for me to get the doggy. So yeah. Okay. Um <clears throat> tell us all the details. Yes, I'm about to spill all the details with you guys. But before I do that, I actually want to share with you guys some really cool shit. You guys you guys wanna see some really cool shit? I'm gonna move myself here for the rest of uh just chatting. Do you guys wanna see some really cool shit? I'm asking you guys if you all wanna see some really cool shit. Yeah, okay. So you wanna see cool shit. Can I have some drum rolls, please? No? <laughs> okay, can I have some drum rolls, please? I'm gonna show you guys some cool shit. Thank you for the hard tip. Okay. Peepees? Thank you for the hard tips. Okay. Artwork for this year, spooky artwork for this year, which is extremely meticulous and really pretty. Done by Midnight Row. Oh no, Midnight Crystal. Fuck, I'm getting you guys mixed up. Rose and Crystal. <laughs> Midnight Crystal. She's the same one who did the um, the Bunkle can, evil coke can, and um, she's the same one who did the lovely eye banners on Twitter. Uh, sorry. Stop it, the crickets! Yeah, Haru looks adorable. Give me a second. Let me see if I can actually make this bigger so you guys can see the whole thing, okay? Yeah, there. Look at that. Look at the details, guys. The trip was great. Uh, before I go into details of the trip, I'm gonna show you guys some cool shit. Um, do you like this? It's beautiful. I like the details. I like how Haru turned out. Haru turned out super adorable in this. Uh, the details of the spooky forest is nice. Um, Mr. Flaps is there. Um... Dottie is there, and I'm and I'm uh, zipping away in a spooky forest. It's really really cute. So that's this year's Halloween art for uh, SSS4. Hope you guys like it. <laughs> it's done by Midnight Crystal. Give me a second. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna give you guys her at uh, thing so you guys can go and. Go and follow her, okay? Give me a second. Midnight Crystal. There we go. Yeah. So, go... Go follow her on Twitter. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me just give you her Twitter account. I'll link you guys to the Twitter account. And then it'll be... It's, it's a lot easier. Give me a second. There you go. Copy. Do I remember how to fucking paste? There. Okay. 
Go follow Midnight Crystal. She also streams. Okay? So go follow Midnight Crystal. Yeah! I hope you guys like that. Yeah, it looks great, right? Okay. Uh, time for my second announcement. You guys ready for your second announcement? I need another drum roll. <laughs> I need another drum roll! Give me another drum roll. I'll give you guys this next announcement and then we'll and then we'll go into all the deets of my holiday. Thank you, Pip. Thank you for the drum roll. Thanks for the drum roll. Ta-da! New emotes. Belfingy. Which might uh, possibly be a uh, animated emote in the near future as well. Hey, NDR? No, fuck off, NDR. Okay. There we go. <gasps> Bye, NDR. I hope you're doing great. Um, why are you smiling like on that emote? Be be because I'm giving you guys the fingy. It's a very cool emote. It's a bell fingy. Uh. <laughs> I hope you guys liked uh, Belfinky. You guys can use it. It's on 7TV. Uh, it's also on Discord. as a Available as an emote and uh, a sticker. If you guys are on Discord, you can use that. Give me a second. Where is my Discord stuff? Here. If you guys are on top secret evil layer in Discord, you are more than welcome to use that emote and sticker. Uh, it's here on 7TV. And it's also a bit reward emote. Spiffy, you know, Spiffy guys. So I, I, I was told, uh, it's, I was so, I, I mean, on Twitch, Twitch said that the two people could use it. I'm not sure who the two people are, but it's a bits reward. So I'm guessing Archival and Penda Burgio are the two people who would be able to use Belfingi. Um, the rest of you guys can use it on Seven TV. Okay, there you go. Uh, the, um, those are my two announcements. I hope you guys like that. <laughs> it's okay, just stay away. Just stay away, Niv. How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I hope you guys had a great one and a half weeks without me. Uh, <laughs> I hope you all had a great one and a half weeks without me. Uh, I hope you all rested your ears. Thank you for the... Why? Thank you for the bits, Niv. You didn't have to do that. Didn't have to do that. Um... See if I have this turned on. Do I have this turned on? Yeah, I have it turned on. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Are you guys ready to get flesh banged? You know what? Just for you guys, because I'm gonna be on this page for a long time. How the fuck do I turn this to dark mode? Dark mode, dark mode. Okay, yeah, there. Just for now, I'm turning this to dark mode. Just because I'm gonna be on this for a while. You love coming in here immediately getting shot. You're welcome, NDR. Okay. Details of my trip. You guys ready? Ta da! <laughs> Let's see. Let me just try to make this bigger and you guys can see more stuff. Oh, that's not good. Why is it not? Would be nice. Okay, there we go. Okay, you guys ready? Let's do this. So. I went to Japan for a Halloween vacation, as most of you guys know, and I had a blast. I visited Disneyland, Disney War uh, sorry, the Disney Resort, which consists of Disneyland and Disney Sea. Also visited uh, Osaka, uh, Universal Studios, Japan. Uh, I, I got to see Super Nintendo Land, that was great. Um, also came back to Tokyo uh, and did a bunch of stuff, a bunch of really, really cool stuff. You guys ready? I keep thinking I'm hearing you say NTR. No, NDR! Fuck! Did you go on all the spooky rides? Yes, I did. I went on everything spooky. So I'm gonna use my Twitter thread to, uh, to recap everything because it's just a lot easier for me to, to keep focused this way. So I landed in Tokyo on September 28th, which is actually a Saturday. I'm not mistaken. No, yeah, it's a Saturday. 
So I landed on Saturday uh, afternoon, like around 2, 2 p.m. And guys, you have no fucking... It's okay, so I landed at 2 p.m. I only got out of the entire um, airport at 4... 4.10! 4, 4 o'clock! Um, it was insane going through customs and immigration at, um, uh, at Tokyo, at Narita Airport. For some fucking reason, there were only three uh, customs uh, uh, booths open. There were only three offices uh, working that day. And um, there happened to be like six flights coming in at the same time. So there were like a shit ton of people just waiting. And the lines are not fucking moving. 4 a.m. is fun off. And no, this wasn't 4 a.m. It was 4 p.m. I landed at 2 p.m. So 4 p.m. So I got off at 4 p.m. And I was like, initially, I wanted to go to the hotel. Uh, leave my bags there. And then go to Disney. But I had no time. Because I got the evening passport. Which was gonna, uh, which was gonna you know, start at around 5 p.m. or something. So I was like, no, I have no time to go to the... I have no time to fucking go to the um, hotel leave my bags and take the uh, hotel shuttle to Disney. So I was like, fuck it, just go straight to Disney. So that's what I did. <laughs> I went straight to Disney. Uh, if you guys can read the katakana on the, uh, on the board, right? It says, Disney Risotto. <laughs> that's what it says, it's a Disney resort. So it goes straight to Disneyland. Three customs AGM for 40 AM. I know, what in the fuck? I know, I had to wait for like two fucking hours in queue. And that was me already rushing and like half running, half rushing. So can you imagine if I leisurely like walked out of the plane? I would... <laughs> that would be so many fucking people <laughs> in front of me. I don't know what's up with Narita Airport. Uh, when I was leaving Narita as well, uh, there was a long queue for customs as well. Not as bad as... Uh, coming into uh, Tokyo, but uh, there was still a really, really long queue. I don't know why. Anyway, I'm going to try Haneda next time. Haneda Airport, which is the other airport in uh, Tokyo. Uh, so I will try that next time. Okay, and Haru, as you can see, was doing perfectly fine in my parents' place. Actually, she got a lot of uh, treats. My mom and dad my, dad, my dad especially, I think, my dad especially really loves Haru really so he he's the type of person he says you know oh i don't i don't um i don't like pets but he's extremely taken by haru when i went um yesterday to co to to get her back my dad was really upset he was like oh i'm gonna miss her every morning i was like okay you can come see her anytime and he was like yeah I'm, but i'm gonna miss her like uh waking up and seeing her zooming about and i'm like okay so yeah my my parents really miss him <laughs> Apparently, my brother loves Haru too. Because apparently, um, whenever my brother comes back from hero work, the first thing he would do is attack Haru. <sighs> That's how all dads are. They are. And I told him, how about you get a cat? And he was like, no. I was like, okay. You seem to really like cats though. But anyway, yeah. Um, Haru was very well taken care of at my parents' place. She, she was living like a queen As the queen as she is Okay, so the so when I went to Disneyland Immediately what I did was stored my bags Stored my bags in the in the Disneyland lockers I honestly think the Disney um, The Dis Disney World and Disneyland in, uh, in the US Should also have storage lockers I mean, okay Most of the people Most of the uh, people who get there go by car or they drive them they drive there right so they probably store their bags in the car but you know having storage lockers isn't a bad idea like i, I stored all my luggage like in a, a storage locker it was only like 600 yen and i was like yeah sure fuck store it for uh, the rest of the uh, for the rest of the evening stored my bags went straight to disneyland and caught the main street electrical parade it is like my favorite parade in uh, Disneyland. Let me see. My favorite fucking parade is this. You can see Mickey and Minnie there. It's my 
<laughs> so I think to watch a work out for your week and have it full time. Oh, that's actually true. Uh, that's actually true, Locker. Phantom, I don't like pets. Spends two hours wandering around the pet store. That you know what? My dad was like, I don't like pets, but then he sent me a shit ton of pictures of Haru. He was taking pictures. You know, at at some point in the first day, he was like, he was trying to call me and tell me, Bell, your cat, your cat is sitting outside my room. I was like, okay. She's just she's just lazing and sitting down in front of my room. I was like, okay. Yeah, she's like she's like sleeping, and she's just like in front of my room. I'm like, okay. That's what that's what cats do. <laughs> it was insane. It was insane, but it was really funny. Uh, but yeah, my dad really really love uh, Haru. I, my my brother and my mom too. They're right now missing her tons. Well, too bad. Haru's my cat. Uh, yeah, so I, I got to see the Main Street Electrical Parade. It's my favorite parade. Kind of upset that the US Disney uh, took out the Main Street Electrical Parades. Uh, this was actually really nice, a Rapunzel themed one. Uh, yeah, really, really kind of upset they, they took out um, the electrical parades in uh, the US Disney uh, resorts, which is unfortunate. The, the Main Street Electrical Parade is by far the best uh, parades. And then I got to see the fireworks at the end! So there was another show uh, which was in, at the uh, castle. They had like a projection kind of thing at the castle, which I didn't really take pictures of, but uh, because it didn't really turn out great. Um, but yeah, so I got to see two shows at night, plus the fireworks. It was great. Um, and that was my um, first evening at Disney. How are you doing, Binary Bird? Yes, I'm playing Crow Country, but now we're just talking about my trip. Happy spooky month to you too, Binary Bird. So that was the first day um, when I landed. And on the second day, I actually went to Disneyland. It was fun. I got to ride all my favorite rides, aka Haunted Mansion and Country Bears. I don't know if you guys know, but Country Bears is like one of my favorite, favorite fucking... Uh, it's... <laughs> I love country bears. Do you guys uh, do you guys know country bears? Do you guys know off country bears? I don't know if you guys know off country bears. It's like one of the best. Okay, give me a second. Country bears Disney. It's like one of the best things. <laughs> it's one of the best things in Disney. You get to see them like perform the animatronics. And they they will perform like this. And they'll sing like uh, all all hits, all favorite hits, and this is really fucking funny. Um, I love that show, uh, Country Bears in Disney. It's one of my favorites. You don't strike me as a country bear. I I am not, but I love watching it because it's so fucking funny. <laughs> and I'm so glad that Tokyo Disney still has Country Bears. I know Disney World does not. One of the Disney's in the US have already uh, shut down Country Bears, which is really upsetting. Um, Tokyo still has it, and it's going strong. That's great. So that was Country Bears. Uh, also went on my favorite ride, which is um, the Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion ride. Also bought a Fast Pass Premier Access to uh, Beauty and the Beast uh, ride. That's actually the Beauty and the Beast castle. It was amazing. I don't know how they did it, but for one scene, the beast animatronic magically disappeared and it became and 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 became a human animatronic. You know Adam, what's his name? Is it Adam? Prince Adam, whatever his name is. But yeah. So he turned from beast to human. And they did it in such a flawless way. I, I have not figured it out. I have not figured out how they did that. That ride is amazing. Disney World still does. They updated it so they're now singing more modern Disney songs. Ah, okay. So Disneyland took it out. That said. Country Country Bears is a very good... Um, I have not seen... There's a Country Bears movie? How have I not heard about this? I should watch it. I will watch the Country Bears movie. Um, I like Country Bears. Stupid and funny. I love, I love, I love country bears. Okay, um, but yeah. So the Disney, the the Beauty of the Beast ride was amazing. It was great. Loved that. Um, and got to see the lovely castle. 
Oh, I, got, I finally got to see the Philhar Magic Show. Uh, no, Philhar Music Show. That was great. I loved that one. Uh, and then the next day, we went to Tokyo Disney Sea. Now, Tokyo Disney Sea is a very beautiful park. It is very Mediterranean and very like. Uh, how do I how do I say this? Like, uh, it's a very different kind of uh, scenery. It doesn't look like your typical theme park. The uh, themes and the. Uh, um, um, the way the landscaping of the entire park is beautiful. If you have not been to Tokyo, okay. So this is what I will say: if you have, if you have to go, if you only have one day at Tokyo Disney Resort, you should go to Disney Sea because it's a very different theme park experience compared to Disneyland. So Disney Sea is great. You should definitely go there. It's it's great. Um, it's very beautiful. Uh, so I went on my favorite ride, the, the Tower of Terror. This is Cape Cod, uh, which is modeled after the real Cape Cod. Uh, where is it? And I got to see Fantasy Springs! And this is how, it, this is how the Little Mermaid uh, area looks at night. It's beautiful. Uh, but okay, I got to see, I, I got to ride my, one of my favorite rides, the Tower of Terror. I got a separate, how are you doing Captain Bravo? I got a separate thing I want to show you guys. Give me a second. I have a story to share. So I actually have several stories to share. This is my first story to share. <laughs> this is my first story, okay, guys? So when I was queuing up at the Tower of Terror, okay, I was queuing up. I was in queue at the Tower of Terror. I saw this dude. <laughs> I saw this dude. Um, okay. Um, okay, I don't know if you can see. He's a dude in blonde. Now, this dude, for the entire time he was there in the queue in Tower of Terror, which was approximately one and a half hours, he was holding up his sunglasses to his face. <laughs> so he had some, so he had some, so he had some like uh, Mickey Mouse um, sunglasses. And instead of wearing them, he held it up to his face. So, uh, this is a far away picture of him um, holding his uh, glasses. He had his girlfriend next to him. He was on a date with his girlfriend. And the whole time he was like looking at his girlfriend, he was holding his glasses, the folded glasses. He was holding it in front of his face and just talking to her. With his, holding it fucking in front of his face. It's like a fucking chuni. Uh, give me a second. There. There. This is how he was, there, you can see it. Guys, can you see it? See, he was, okay, he was holding the glasses in front of his face the whole fucking time. I, okay, and this is the funniest part. No, wait, you, you gotta hear the funniest part, guys. Okay, so the funniest part was, we went into the Tower of Terror, right? So this dude, <laughs> this dude is sitting in front of me. He broke his glasses in the Tower of Terror. He broke it because he was fucking holding it in front of him. And he broke it. He broke it during the ride. And after the ride, you know, when it empties out into the uh, gift shop, he bought himself another. <laughs> he bought himself another fucking sunglasses. Another prayer of that, and then he was doing exactly the same thing again. He was just holding it in front of his fucking face, and I was like, why? Haven't you learned your lesson? <laughs> he broke his glasses and bought a new one. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with this dude. Um, but yeah, he, he was a Chuni. If I've ever seen Chuni, this is, in real life, this is the real life Chuni, guys. So yeah, that was... <laughs> I met Shondo, breaker of glasses, yes. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot deal with this dude. Okay, so um that was that was that was an interesting thing. So why what would you do if you broke your glasses? Well number one, I wouldn't carry my fucking glasses in front of my fucking face on a ride. I'd store it in my bag. Okay? I'm not that dumb. <laughs> number two. If I broke it, I'd be like, oh, they're not meant to be. You know how fucking expensive those glasses are? Social Darwinism at its finest, yeah. Um, but yeah, that, 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 was, that was stupid. Okay, uh, so that was the first story. Um, 
And then after Disney C, yes, baby. Oh, she's sitting down in front of my wires. She's getting comfortable, Haru. Okay, so after that, uh, the next day, we traveled to Osaka using a Shinkansen. Shinkansen. Um, it was the best Shinkansen ride ever. Um, it was lovely. I bought myself some uh, Kirby treats from Tokyo Station. Got the Kirby Cafe, uh, the Kirby Petite Cafe pudding in the car. Got myself some Kirby treats for the ride. And then we went to, I went to Dotenbury, guys. Ocean Man, how are you doing? How are you doing, Potato? The vacation is great. I'm just telling everybody what happened. <laughs> I love Kirby too. Kirby is real? Yes, Kirby is real. You're doing okay? Great. I'm glad you're doing okay. How are you doing, Tato? I hope you're doing great too. So I went to Dotenbury. Guys? Okay, I, had, I have several things I want to tell you to you guys about Dotenbury. It's exactly the same as the Yakuza game. Dotenbury, it's exactly the same. I also I had the best okonomiyaki in my life. I actually went to a uh, Michelin star uh, um, okonomiyaki restaurant just to get the best okonomiyaki experience in um, Osaka. So it's a very highly recommended okonomiyaki place. I went there. I had the best okonomiyaki in my life. Okay. Um, also had some takoyakis uh, on the way there. It was great. I actually didn't taste any of the stuff from Kirby Petite. Oh, you're missing out. You're fantastic. Oh, they don't deceive you. The villainous is back from bullying people in the public and creeping in Japan. That's true. <laughs> It is fantastic. So, um, this is exactly real. This is exactly, exactly like how it is like in Yakuza, in Sotenbury. Okay. Um, also, guys, 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 guys. I saw a dude. Okay, I saw a dude while I was eating takoyaki. I saw a dude and he was dancing on the side of the street. He was dancing on the side of the street trying to make eye contact with people so that he could talk to them. It was exactly like the NPC side quest in Yakuza. You know where, 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 the, where the NPCs would do something really weird and funny and, and, and you know they will, they will say something and, 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 and Kiryu has to go up to them and talk to them. It was exactly that! Yeah, I saw a dude, I know. How are you doing, Zerok? It was a fucking NPC side quest, guys, I saw. Babo, how are you doing? Thank you for resubscribing! <laughs> Good enough for me. Villa 51 Groove, Villa 51 Pinata, Villa 51 Cauldron. How are you doing? Thank you for resubscribing, Babo. So, uh, no, what I had was this I had Carby and I had the pudding. I had these two. They're really cute. They're really, really good. I had Carby and the pudding. So, yeah, this is the best okonomiyaki of my life. Guys, it tasted so fucking good. I cannot. I cannot. It was so good. I cannot. Um, but yeah. So <laughs> As I was saying, I saw an NPC side quest, guys. Uh, while walking along... Um, Dotenbori. <laughs> <laughs> he did. So a lot of the... A lot of the Baka Gaijins in... Uh, <laughs> Dotenbori. Um, they were all nerding out to Yakuza. You could hear as you walk along the, pa the, the the bridge and everything. You could hear people like, Oh my god, this is like in Yakuza. I was like, yeah. So, <laughs> so everybody every, everybody was like nerding out to Yakuza in this place. It was amazing. You're doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. So that was, that was my fun story of... Uh, uh, Dotenbury. And the next day, like you did, <laughs> I did not. I was, I, I kept it all inside. The nerding out was inside. It was helping. It was happening internally, externally. I looked like a very, a very calm, peaceful uh, girl just walking along uh, the street, <laughs> randomly snapping pictures. This is exactly what it looked like, guys. <laughs> It is a breeding ground for Yakuza friends. Uh, not only did I go to Dotenbori, I also went to Kabukito, which is Kamurocho in Yakuza. So I actually went to two Yakuza locations uh, as well. This one's in Osaka. I went to the one in, um, in, in, in Tokyo as well, uh, Shinjuku. Okay, so the next day, next day everybody, I went to USJ and that was fucking amazing. I cannot... I cannot tell you how. Oh wait, and and then I got pictures from uh, Afaru from my from my dad 
and mom. I got cute Haru pictures. <laughs> cute Haru pictures from my dad and mom. Okay, um, and okay, this is the thing. Uh, USJ, it was so good. You want the cat? Yeah, my cat's doing fantastic. Uh, Haru's doing great. <laughs> I have you guys to talk about it with. Did the Michelin star one have noodles inside? Yes, you can ask for noodles. I did not ask for noodles. I cannot take so much carbs at one go. So mine was a special uh, potato, uh, potato one, like a sweet potato one. It was really good. I cannot eat so much. The noodles really seemed like I was asking for a heart attack. So I couldn't. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, you prefer, yeah, yeah, you, so it comes with or without. It, it's up to you. You can customize the okonomiyaki. It was the best place. Spiffy, if you want the restaurant that I ate at, it, it's, not, it's not very expensive either. It's very reasonable price. Very reasonably priced. Um, if you want the name of the restaurant, uh, I will let you know later. I have a picture with that on my phone. So, uh, yeah, I'll let you know later. Okay, Spiffy, if you want, if you want the name of the place. Is that weird Mario place we get to make Mario jump at the beach? Yes! So I went to Super Nintendo Land and guys, you have to buy the power-up bins. If you're going to Super Nintendo Land, the experience is not complete without the power-up bins. In fact, I think um, the stuff you do with the power-up bins is a lot more fun than the two rides in Super Nintendo Land. Um, like... I'll give you an example. Like, uh, there is an app in USJ. Bell, a better platformer in real life than in game. Yes, I actually did the secret quest. Um, in in, I actually got to the secret quest, and I actually got like quite a number of stickers. So okay, let me explain how this works. So first, you have a you have a USJ app, Universal Studios Japan app. Okay, uh, and you sync it with your power up band that you get. Okay, um, a power up band is something like a like a slap slap wristband kind of thing okay um and you sync it with your app and then there are many challenges throughout super nintendo land they have like mini challenges like um you need to there oh no, oh 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 i completely aced all the challenges like uh, there was a slot machine one where you have to like bump uh the slot machine to get them there were like four of the slots you got to try to get uh, all four um, as the same uh, uh, picture, right? As how slot machines work. And guys, the jackpot machine. Guys, I, I got the jackpot. So I got like special uh, achievements and accomplishments for that. Uh, I found the strat and I and I and I did the special jackpot. It was really fucking cool. I had like special confetti um, being thrown and stuff. It was great. So. <laughs> so there was that. So you get like, uh, so there are like secret keys, uh, secret missions throughout uh, Super Nintendo Land, where you can get like keys. Uh, and if you get enough keys, I, I think it's about three keys. Um, you can uh, fight Mini Bowser in a secret mini game, and I fought, I, and and I managed to do that and fought uh, a Mini Bowser in the secret mini game, and it was great. So that it was a really interactive experience. Debo, how are you doing? I hope you're doing great. Also, happy sixth anniversary of your um, music making. How are you doing, Debo? How many times did you die? None. Because the queues were too long. I did not uh, have time to go on them multiple times. So I did fantastic. Um, <laughs> proof that I'm a better gamer in real life? If it's a real life game? Not on console or on PC. I can I can own all of your asses. Like I can I can beat all of y'all. So yeah. I did not die multiple times. <laughs> I just said I didn't have time to requeue to do like, all the games again. The queues were all really long. Um. So yeah. So so it it was really interactive. Uh. I think all of you will liked it. Um. Stop it, they do. I think all of you will like it if you all if, if you went to Super Nintendo Land. Um Let me just say wait wait, there was something I wanted to say. What was it? Oh yeah, sorry. So when I went to Tokyo Disney Sea earlier for Fantasy Springs, I told you guys before I went to uh, Japan that uh, they have a new area time ticket thing 
I nearly missed uh, getting a time ticket to go to Fantasy Springs. I freaked the fuck out. Like, I managed to get into the to the park, okay? After like uh, 10 minutes from opening because that was how long the fucking queue was, right? So I got in and almost all the slots were taken up. The only slot I had like... Uh, the earliest slot that was left for me for Fantasy Springs was like fucking 4 p.m. Fantasy Springs is a really nice, beautiful place. It reminds me of like Marina Bay, Garden by the Bay in Singapore. Uh, it has the, the the landscaping is really pretty. Lots of green uh, greenery and like waterfalls and things like that. Um, I think I showed you guys. Let me let me show you guys the picture again. It's it's really fucking pretty. Uh, this this is how it looks like with waterfalls and everything. This is like with Elsa and Anna and 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 with Peter Pan. So there are like four main rides there. In order to get to Fantasy Springs, you you have to get a fast pass either either via paid means or non-paid means, right? You need to get an access pass to one of the rides in the park. So by default, because everything gets fucking sold out, you're only going to be able to ride two. Realistically speaking, you're only going to be able to ride two out of the four rides. So uh, the four rides were one was a boat ride for uh, Frozen. The other one was a uh, Peter Pan, like a 3D simulation um, ride. That was I actually went on the Peter Pan one. It was really good. I'm not a huge Frozen fan, so I did not choose the Frozen one. I There was another Rapunzel. Um, Lantern Festival uh, boat ride. So I, I I got a paid ticket for the Rapunzel ride and uh, a free ticket for the um, Peter Pan ride. And um, the earliest I could enter was like 4 fucking p.m. I was freaking the fuck out. I nearly could not enter Fantasy Springs and I was nearly like really, really upset. But yeah. Uh, so for Super Nintendo Land, I bring this up because Super Nintendo Land is the same thing. There's an area time ticket thing, and immediately once you enter the park, you've got to like fucking ballot for your slot. Uh, but luckily, I got the earliest slot, so yay me! Uh, people who did not get the earliest slot, they would really suffer throughout the end of the day because a lot of people who were there in the morning stayed until like almost evening time because there's so many things to do in Super Nintendo Land. So after lunch, it got super fucking crowded. So if you were there in the morning, lucky you, you know? Yeah, you should go there. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's very nice. It's very interactive. So if you went there multiple times, you, their interactivity um, and the replayability of the entire thing is great. Because there's also like a stamp collecting thing. Like, uh, let's say, you know, um, you played one mini game once, you get one uh, sticker on your app. There are about 170 stickers to collect. I got about 57? No, I got about 70. Yeah, I got about like 70 stickers. Yeah, I, I, I went on a rampage on all the mini games. <laughs> so yeah, um, some of the stickers are like uh, ride uh, the Yoshi ride like three times or five times. Or play the mini game on the hardest difficulty and things like that. And the only way for you to play it on hardest difficulty is if you play it like five times. You know, something like that. So, um, there's a lot of replayability for this. Coffee, how are you doing? Yeah. So this game is great. She let the no, I did not let the ride go. I um, I did ride on the Mario Kart uh, motor ride, which is like a 3D. Um, it's a 3D interactive um, race car ride. So it's like a, you're going on a Mario Kart ride, right? Like a Mario Kart simulation. Um, your, your, your vehicle will, you know, it's like a Mario Kart ride um, with a 3D screen in front of you. And you have like a console uh, in front of you where you can shoot shells at the uh, Koopa team, which is like Bowser and the Koopa kids and stuff. Uh, yeah, and, and the more Koopa Kids and Bowsers you, you hit with the shells, uh, the more points you get. Uh, the better turnings you do, the more points you get. So stuff like that. Alright. Bell inspected the walls in Japan? I guess I did, and I actually did better than... <laughs> how I play with you guys. <laughs> like, in a vehicle, there are like four people, right? I actually got the highest score out of the four people. <laughs> I got the highest score out of the four people, guys! Me! 
How are you doing, Founder? Um, I did. I totally fucking bulleted in real life as well. It was great. I hope you're doing good too, Coffee. So, yeah, Super Nintendo Land is great. Uh, the other ride was a Yoshi ride. It's very cute. You gotta um, use your power up bin and tap for uh, the eggs. If you see like different colored eggs, it's very cute, right? It's a very relaxed kind of ride. It's, 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 it's nice. Uh, and yeah, it's I. This is one of the most interactive areas in a theme park I have ever seen. I, I'm a theme park buff, right? I go to lots of theme parks and love Disney and and everything. And I gotta say, this is actually the most interactive theme park experience I've ever had. So you guys will love Super Nintendo Land. Um, they're super noobs. The engines are going. <laughs> Hey, I used my strengths in real life to do all the mini games. Okay, there was one where you had to really use the crank uh, to like spin the crank super fast to beat the go uh, a Goomba, and I did it so super fast the Goomba did not even show up. I was that it was that powerful, guys. I was I was using all the strength I I built up from gym and everything, and wow, I cranked that. I, I did that super fucking fast. I turned that crank and the Goomba didn't even surface. The mini game ended before it even began. It was amazing. Um. <laughs> hey, Waterfall, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, yeah. So the mini games are great. I 100% recommend going to Super Nintendo Land. Uh, but if you go, definitely 100% buy the power up bin. It's totally worth it. Totally worth it. Um, so Harry Potter Land also had the uh, same similar idea where they have like a wand, you know, and they have like interactive spots where you can do like the wand uh, spells and everything. But it's not as good as the interactivity in Super Nintendo Land. Like you, you can totally skip out uh, buying a wand in Harry Potter Land and you would still get a similar experience. But in... Um, in Super Nintendo Land, your experience would be very limited without the power up band. So, uh, what's his name? Miyamoto? GG Miyamoto. Super Nintendo Land is amazing. Hi, White Wolf, how you doing? So, yeah. Crank that soldier boy. Yes, I did. I totally did. <laughs> Glitching the games, making it so the others can't play. Yeah, I know. Um, so... So Super Nintendo Land was, was fantastic. I also went to Harry Potter Land. I spent most of my time in Super Nintendo Land and Harry Potter Land. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the Bowser's Castle. So this, so the queue for Mario Kart, uh, the Mario Kart ride, goes through uh, Bowser's Castle. And you get to see a really nice, lovely statue of Bowser. It's amazing. Uh, this is Hogwarts Land. You can see the crowds, guys. It's, it's disgusting. I went on a Wednesday. I went on a fucking Wednesday, guys. Wednesday, midweek, and this is the crowds. I'm telling you guys, Japan, um, the Japanese people, wow, they will travel across the whole country just to go to Disney and Universal Studios. This is a Wednesday on a non-holiday day. It's a non-holiday over there. So these people took leave, okay, from the jobs. To go visit Universal Studios. Thank you for the bits. Why? White underscore wolf's cheered for 525 bits. I do remember what I said before he went. What the fuck? Why? You didn't have to do that, White Wolves. You didn't have to. Stop it. Thank you for the bits. You you didn't have to though. Hunter Claw, how are you doing? It was it was great. By the way, Bell, have you seen that dude that is one of the main writers for Harry Potter TV series Never Read Books? Wait, what? He did not read... Huh? And how do you do the TV series if you have not read the books? Do not tell me he watched the movies. I will scream. I will scream. How did he do the TV series if he did not... That's fucking insane. I will watch this later, uh, Locker. Thank you for linking that. That's fucking insane. Okay. Um... So that was Harry Potter Land. Guys, one of the highlights of my trip, the One Piece show! Oh my fucking god, it was the best thing ever. 
Uh, you have to buy separate tickets for this. Uh, and uh, because I do not live in Japan, because I do not live in fucking Japan, uh, it's really hard to navigate through the website. Uh, if you're a foreigner, it's actually really hard because I think uh, they require Japanese residences and things like that. Oh yeah, the One Piece show is fantastic. Uh, it only is only in um, USJ, Universal Studios Japan, and I got I gotta say, guys, it's amazing. It happens in the Water World stage. If you guys remember Universal Studios, you'll know that the whole background setup is Water World. So the night show for Water World uh, is cancelled because they uh, they usually air the One Piece show, right? And it, the One Piece show is only like once uh, a day. Uh, and every year, they have an updated version of the One Piece show. So in this version, they had Gear 5. Gear 5, guys. I'm not going to spoil it too much, but Gear 5. Uh, Luffy, it was great. Um, so the One Piece show is in completely in Japanese, but you know, I can understand it. It's, it's quite basic and it's fine. Oh my gosh, so many things about this One Piece show. Um, all of them look fantastic. The props and, and how they look is almost exactly to a T, uh, as in the manga. It's great. Watch uh, Water World, Watch Along Man. Uh, that's actually a pretty good suggestion, Tato. You can I, look the 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 story. They they okay. It's okay. I don't have to tell you guys the story, but um, I will tell you guys this. There are many things that happened during the One Piece show, which was so fucking good. Um, they had many um, effects and everything. Okay, it was great. It was just like Waterworld. If you guys have seen Waterworld in the Waterworld show in, in Universal Studios, it's just like that. Okay, with the stunts and everything. Um, now, Sanji? Sanji did like a shit ton of kicks and backflips and everything. They even had Germa 66 come down. They had Sabo come down. That all kinds of super like like guest stars come down. That Trafalgar Law was there. Um, there were like so many people, uh, so many so many One Piece characters which were there. It was amazing. Um, but yeah, Sanji with all his backflips like fucking stole the show. Now I love Frankie. Frankie's like and Bruka like one of my favorite characters. I have a very cute story to share about Frankie. Uh, I'm trying to file my dog nail. Help me. Oh no. All the best, Anjo. So yeah, okay. So you can see Frankie, right? Uh, you know, Frankie's favorite line is super. You know he does that, right? With his arms up in his in the air. You know, you, you know he does that, right? Uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you guys the Frankie super pose, okay? Frankie super pose. Give me a second. Frankie super pose. Yeah, this pose where he does the thing in the air and does like super. He does that, right? With his arms in the air and does that, right? That was the most adorable little girl in front of me. And her favorite character is Frankie. Whenever Frankie came on, she kept doing the super pose in front of me. <laughs> I swear, I could watch the whole show just for her. Every time Frankie came on, super! <laughs> it's the most cutest girl! The cutest little five-year-old girl or something it was so cute, guys. She's so cute. Um, so that was one. Also, when Brooke came on, um, when <laughs> when Brooke came on, guys. Um, okay, so Brooke, you know, Brooke is like a very uh, musically inclined uh, character, right? So he came on for his like solo thing, and the moment he came on for his solo for his like violin solo. Everybody in the fucking audience whipped out their towel, their hand towels, and started swinging them in the air. And I was like, "How the fuck does everybody know to take out the towel and swing it in the air when Brooke brings out his violin?" I don't know. I was the only person there not doing it. I don't. Is this a thing? Those of you guys living in Japan, is this actually a thing? Swaggy Star and I, Dango Sage isn't here, so I can ask. I, those of you who are actually living in Japan, is this a thing? Whenever whenever Brooke comes out and starts singing, you've got to wave the towel in the air. I don't know. I don't know how everybody knows how to do this. But every fucking buddy took out their hand towel and started waving that shit in the air. When, <laughs> when Brooke started playing the violin, it was amazing. Ah, it was a very good show, guys. Um, the One Piece show in itself, like you could go to Universal Studios just to watch the One Piece show. 
and it would be great. Uh, so yeah, it's, I highly recommend if you're going to Japan. Why you had a towel? Yeah, why do you have a towel with a... People just know. I've never gone to a place. People just know. That's amazing. That's amazing that people just know. Did they wave it around like you just don't care? Yes, they did. They totally did that. They were like swinging that shit. It was amazing. Uh, so that was Universal Studios. It was great. Uh, it was very lovely. And then I, I did. I, have a, I, had, a, I had a blast. Uh, and then I uh, traveled back to, um, to Tokyo and stopped by Osaka Station. Uh, I had to go to Osaka Station anyway. Um, went to the Pokemon Center, of course. So there was this one whole um, floor uh, full of really cool shit. There was like a Pokemon Center, a Nintendo, uh, Nintendo shop. Uh, they had a Capcom shop with full of Monster Hunter stuff. Uh, and Devil May Cry things. And Tamagotchi. Because <laughs> Tamagotchi is also part of Capcom. <laughs> and then they had like, uh, what else? Um, that Tomika Plarail. If y'all if y'all are into like train cars and stuff, that Tomika Plarail shop, which is nice. Uh, what else did they have over there? Ah, they had the Mugiwara One Piece uh, shop as well over there. So it's like a whole shop, uh, a whole floor full of nerds. Uh, it was amazing. Uh, and and this was like from the Pokemon Center in Osaka. Uh, and yeah, this is from the Nintendo shop, guys. Uh, I actually uh, uh, loved seeing uh, um, all the merch. It was very cute. They had Splatoon, they had Pikmin, they had Zelda, they had um, Animal Crossing. Um, of course, they had Super Mario stuff as well. Uh, amazing. Um, I got one thing from here. I got a car up, you know, from, from Zelda, um, Breath of the Wild and, and um, Tears of the Kingdom. You know, the dude who goes, yeah, you found me. Yeah, I got a car up. Um, a Kur the Kurok with the backpack specifically, you know the one who, who always tells you to um, bring him back to his friend? <laughs> I got the Kurok with the backpack, it's so fucking stupid! <laughs> ah! Ah! And I hanged him off my luggage, because he was adorable. <laughs> so he can go like, yeah, all the way. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, it, was, it was fun. So that was a Nintendo store. Uh, traveled back by Shinkansen again. Uh, I went to the Disney store in Shinjuku. They were celebrating Halloween. It was very cool to see. Uh, and guys, I went to Kabukicho. So Kabukicho, if you guys don't know, is um, the Kamurocho in Yakuza. You got to see all the Tohoku kids. Are you gonna go watch? Are you gonna watch the One Piece? What do you mean? What is the One Piece? So uh, this is Kabukicho, uh, the Kamurocho of in, in Yakuza. And uh, Kabukicho is actually very famous for uh, the Godzilla Toho building. That's one thing. Uh, you guys know the Godzilla Toho building? Give me a second, let me show you guys. The Godzilla Toho building, where is it? This. The Godzilla Toho building, this one. Did you get thrown through the glass at Wild Jackson's just like Yakuza? No. <laughs> okay, but this is a very... Um, this is the most unsafe part of Tokyo though. It's, it's really unsafe. I'm about to tell you guys uh, a shit ton of things. Uh, so yeah, I was walking through here. You um, saw a lot of like the Nanpa guys as well picking up, picking up all the girls. It was insane. These guys would just randomly come up to see girl... If they see a girl... Uh, or a girl with another girl, like as long as there are no guys with them, they would just go up to them and just try to pick them up. And um, it would be like on the crossing, like traffic crossing, like uh, zebra crossing or whatever, and they would just run up and try to pick them up. And they will not take no for an answer. Like you will, you can literally tell them no, please no, and they will still keep trying. It's really insane. Um, no, I did not. Uh, get skipped. Uh, yes. <laughs> D Green, how you doing? You got a five year old niece in your left? Okay. How you doing, D Green's little niece? I hope you're doing good. Mwah! She gets distracted by Blue in the other room. Okay, no worries. 
I, that, that's when you give them bell fingy, yes. That's exactly when I give them bell fingy. I did not get skipped. So you know what that means. Um, so yeah. Uh... There are many things about this area. Um, so this Toho building is a very famous building in Kabukicho. With the Godzilla's peeking out right there. Um, so Kabuchi Kabukicho isn't a really great part of uh, Shinjuku. It isn't a great part of Tokyo. Um, it's also very famously... So I do not have a new BF, no. Uh, <laughs> it's also very famously a pl the place where lots of kids hang out. Uh, if there are lots of homeless kids... I would don't want to say homeless kids because most of these kids are like maybe you know get chased out of their homes or they they run away from homes from their own homes and they just stay in the streets and this is the street Tohoku um it's it's really I I, I find it really sad uh but they're they're young they're young uh, kids the young boys and girls like about like uh, maybe late teens early 20s uh, most of them uh, work as like uh, hookers or like in the bars uh, um, next to nearby, you know. Um, some of them even have like signs uh, um, um, up saying, oh, one night for 500 yen and things like that, you know. It's, it's kind of sad. They're called the Tohoku Kids. Have you guys heard of them? If not, you guys can Google. Uh, hey, 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 before you feel extremely sad about them, before you feel extremely sad for them, okay, coffee? Go Google it. You guys should be able to find out things about it. Before you feel so sad about them, do you know that a lot of them are super fucking famous on TikTok and like fucking like, and, and they are streamers. A lot of them are super fucking famous and they're actually fucking rich. Okay, because you're so fucking famous. There's one girl who uh, loves, who's like decked out in donkey, donkey stuff. And she gets like a shit ton of sponsorships from donkey. Okay. <laughs> no, there was a lot of pumpkin spice rose. So did you try to network with them? There was one time I said, Have you heard of the streamer called Villainous Bell? I heard she's amazing. I actually did that once. And then I got too embarrassed and never did that again. Um... But that was in Akihabara when I saw a dude next to me uh, watching another VTuber, another VTuber streamer, streamer. And then I was like, I, I, I tried, I tried to do that just, um, just, just that one time. But then I got kind of embarrassed because he didn't turn. He was, I was completely ignored. So I was like, okay, forget it. Um, but yeah, uh, I did it once. <laughs> oh, Toyoko kids, have I been saying that wrong? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Zerok. I've been, I've been saying it wrong. Sorry. To Yoko Kids. Uh, that's, that's my... It's a... Yeah, it's, it's, it's my bad. It's To Yoko Kids. The To comes from the Toho building. Um, where they always hang out. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Zerok. It's To Yoko Kids. Go, go Google that and you guys will know uh, about this. Um, thank you. Thank you, Zerok. Um, okay, as I was saying, uh, so Kabukicho is a very interesting place. Uh, another thing that I saw, guys, guys, another thing I saw. Uh, so literally every alley is like something new. They have like lots of these alleys with like bars and izakayas and things, and they're just like so tiny. Like in each bar, only like maximum five people can go in, and that's it. It's so fucking tiny. It's amazing. You can just like completely miss out on that alley and you're like, oh, I'm missing out on this street. Uh, with lots of bars and stuff. But anyway. So. Uh, the other thing about this place. Uh, <laughs> with the love hotels and the fucking top dandies. Okay, uh, <laughs> there was this one, there's this, there's, there's this one alley, which is just full of fucking love hotels, guys, full of love hotels. I did not go, I, okay, I went inside one and then I went out, okay, but I, I googled it. Guys, 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 so, these love hotels, hi Haru, Haru? 
Give me a second. I'm gonna grab her. Give me a second. coming and she ran and hid she knew i was coming and she ran and hid okay you stay you stay okay look i have to explain okay I, uh, let me tell you guys so there was an alley full of love hotels okay and guys these love hotels are fucking posh they're really fucking high class so i didn't i didn't go it i i didn't like stay in one or anything but i saw like this like um old white couple who look like fu filthy rich okay they they this couple look filthy rich with their luggage and everything like checking out of the hotel like people were actually legit staying in there um like a, it was functioning like a normal hotel i do not think they're cheaper than regular hotels i was looking at their website the cheapest room for like fucking two hours okay is like 6k 6k yen or something for two hours okay and it looks like a fucking posh hotel with like a fucking jacuzzi in the fucking room no i do not think uh, it it was it was it was five times better ten times better than the hotel room i was staying <laughs> yeah they have like a thing called like short time apparently short time means two hours and then of course they have the normal overnight stay uh the full day stay and everything but they have this thing called short night short night is the is the two hours uh, uh thing so i didn't know i saw a white couple checking out of the hotel with their luggage and everything um that, no i swear guys these these hotels look fucking okay you don't believe me okay look i remember one of the hotel names give me a second you guys don't believe me it was this one was all over the fucking place. Look at this! Just look at the fucking hotel room! Like what the heck? Okay, I'm gonna do it. Shinjuku. Where it Yeah! How the fuck guys? Come on! Look at this shit! There's like a jacuzzi and everything! God damn it! It's like super fucking posh! It's like luxury thing! It looks like it. Okay, I guess all of you guys are super rich then in your in your fucking hotels. <laughs> oh my god! For a split second, I thought you were gonna show you a pic of the love hotel. No, I I I did not go in there. How well did the Japanese hold? Actually, it was okay. Ironside, how are you doing? Uh, stop swearing in front of D Green's knees. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, D Green. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so uh, I did see the love hotels and besides the love hotels guys I also saw this other thing this other thing uh, that you guys would actually like to know um, There were these things called top dandies. No, this is in Shinjuku in uh, Kabukicho uh, Okay, I highly recommend okay, if you're a guy you're probably safe But if you're a girl you should not go to these places on your own <laughs> <gasps> I'm speaking from experience, guys. You should not go to these experiences on your own. How are you doing, Felangor? It's not a great part of town. It's actually one of the worst uh, places in Tokyo. Don't curse. Okay. 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 Um, how are you doing, Felangor? So, so okay. There was this other thing that I wanted to show you guys. It's called the Top Dandies. So, th these things... These things, guys, the top dandy. So these are like the host clubs. Is Shinjuku a full day thing? Uh, uh, all I'm talking about, uh, all whatever I'm saying is like nightlife. Thank you for the lurk. Doing well enough. Just l here to lurk on you. Thank you for the lurk, Felangor. Um, and glad you're doing well. I'll see you soon, Felangor. Um, no, Shinjuku is a great shopping district. You should spend a whole day there. If you want to do all the shit that I've seen, like at night and everything um it's gonna take you the whole day so like in the morning i suggest like you do like your shopping and everything and then in the evening um yeah take a stroll around Kab kabukicho but uh be discreet about it I, I mean at this point of time because kabukicho is just so um it's just so um popular 
right? There are lots of tourists in Kapukito. So um, you would be able to see lots of tourists just walking along. Uh, but still, there are fights that break out with the Toyoko kids, right? You still, you still see fights. You will see police officers just uh, hanging around nearby. Um, you will see drug exchanges, uh, which I did see one, and it kind of freaked me out. And I was just like, oh, okay, just pretend and walk away. Pretend and walk away. Pretend and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> These dudes were like exchanging drugs I saw and I was like, oh shit, okay, just walk away, walk away. <laughs> it's like a fucking drug exchange. I did not get uh I did not get some stuff. So near the love hotels, I think uh, there were some places that sell sold CBDs. Uh so CBDs I think are legal in Japan, uh, but not in Singapore. Singapore CBDs are completely banned. Uh yeah. They're actually illegal. They are very, very, very illegal in Japan. Right, but CBDs are not uh, illegal. Um, there are actual legit shops in Kabukicho which sell uh, CBDs, uh, which you can get. No, not Central Business District. <laughs> like weed kind of CBD, um, pens or so. But anyway, um, this stream does not promote the use of uh, weed. By the way, okay, uh, CBDs are different. They're relaxants. Stop it, Tato. <laughs> but yes, uh, so. All these things you can find here in Kabukicho is literally in a small alley tucked right behind Shinjuku. Um, right after, right after the pachinko slots. Beyond that, you will see an alley, Kabukicho, with all the Toyoko kids, and you know you've come to the right alley. Just find the Toho building, and you're right there. Um, and there, like, then there's another nearby alley with all the love hotels and the top dandies. Now, top dandies, everybody. Um, this is a very interesting thing. So, Japan is very well known for its hosts club and hostess club. And apparently, the culture is very interesting. What happens is that um, you get to vote for your favorite top dandy, uh, which is the guy host, and for your uh, favorite uh, um, um, hostess as well. Uh, it's something like uh, voting for your top Oshi and um, every time there will be like a billboard in uh, Shinjuku um, announcing oh this is the top uh, um, dandy for the month or the top dandy for uh, for the quarter or something like that and then they will flash it these are your top 10 dandies and things like that it's really fucking funny Jeremy how are you doing? oh yeah I had a fantastic time is this like a cabaret side quest from Yakuza? it's a hostess Host and hostess side quest in Yakuza. Um, Termi, uh, sorry, Niv, exactly that. Is it the one that mine goes skipping? <laughs> so that was interesting. So Kabukicho is a very interesting place. Um, also, another thing in Kabukicho which I got to do, uh, maybe it might be of interest to maybe Termi and Babo, I think. Um, I got to see a betting center. Uh, did I show you guys the picture of the betting center? I don't know if I did. Oh, I didn't show you guys. The, there I did. Uh, the betting center, uh, which was actually in uh, Yakuza. It's also in Shinjuku, uh, in that same area. Um, if you walk around, you'll be able to find the betting center. And you can actually go betting. Um, it's a great way to relieve stress. Um, and at this betting center, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but um, there are actually many arcade games. I saw some Tekken games. Uh, yes, I did, Zerok. Uh, I saw some Tekken games and I saw Metal Slug. I played a game of Metal Slug. It was fun. Um, the old school arcade uh, Metal Slug with the fight stick and everything. It was really cool. I played I played Metal Slug uh, for the very first time. Um, competing with your colleagues for your better pay and more concern. <laughs> but yeah, so that was the betting center if you guys want to go see. Uh, so it says betting center. So... Yeah, this was a really great find at Shinjuku. I, 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 I actually ran... Um, so this was uh, purely by exi uh, accident. The following day when I was in Tokyo, I, um, I went to the Sky Tree. Um, and after that, in the evening, I just decided to take a stroll in Kabukicho. And I took a turn and found the betting center. Just for funsies. I, I somehow found... A betting center. <laughs> I was really lucky. Yeah, it's like a it's actual betting. Guys, 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 guys. 
Oh my god. Shohei Otani was like the biggest thing in Japan. Every time I turned on the TV in my hotel room, there was there was something going on about Shohei Otani. And right now he did like some 50-50-50 thing, right? Um I did do around. Um Shohei Otani was like the biggest thing. So it was actually amazing that I got to go to a betting center. Uh there were pictures of Shohei Otani on there as well. Yeah, Otani is godlike. Uh so he he is revered by everybody in Japan as well. <laughs> Even in Narita Airport, um when I was buying sweets and and snacks for back home, um you could see Otani's uh face plastered everywhere. So it's showtime it is. Um so that was fun. Strolling randomly is how you find the best stuff when uh, exactly. So I was glad um I did that. I did not gamble. I did not go to a pachinko uh, parlor. I, I wish I did, but I did not. It's full of old men. So I usually do. <laughs> Which brings me to my next day in Tokyo. I came across one to do meda, but I didn't have time to try it. Ah, you should. It's fun. Um Oh yeah, the best ramen I had was also strolling around um I was walking back from Kabukicho to my hotel. Which is about a half an hour walk, but you know, I was just walking back and I found a really nice ramen place and that was where I I had a uh, really good ramen on my last night there. Okay, anyway. Um so the next day I went to the Tokyo Sai Tree and I ate at the Kirby Cafe, guys. So when I went to the Kirby Cafe, obviously I could not uh, get a reservation for the Kirby Cafe. Um full of old people just for there. <laughs> Zero coin. No. How do you tell if it's good? What do you mean? I, well, I tasted it and it, and it and it tasted really good. So that's how I know. Um So yeah, uh so uh the next day I actually went to, to Tokyo Sky Tree. It is actually a very lovely place. So I think I've been to many places in Tokyo but the Sky Tree was something I never had a uh, opportunity to go before in my other times I've been to Tokyo. Um so I was very glad I got to go to the Sky Tree this time around. Ah uh, it's a very very nice place. So the Kirby Cafe is located inside the Sky Tree. In fact the Sky Tree there's like a huge mall with another Pokemon Center. Um uh, there's like lots of cool shops and everything. The Kirby uh cafe is there and a Kirby cafe store. Uh, is there? It's on the same level, but located in a different location. Um, so what I did was I I ordered takeaway. You know that I, I I could not get a reservation for the Kirby Cafe. I was really upset, but I I sat right down in front of um, the cafe. Okay, M four three, how you doing? So I sat right in front of the cafe, ordered some takeout. And I got the Kirby burger, and I got like a cute little plushie. I had to wait one hour for the burger, but you know what? It was totally fucking worth it. Um, that cute little Kirby uh, container came with the burger. Uh, I had tons of fun. Uh, and then I sat right in front of the Kirby cafe, and I had my Kirby meal, and it was great. It felt like I was sitting outside. You know, like how some restaurants has like a um, has like an indoor seating and outdoor seating. Yeah, it just felt like I was eating at the cafe, but just in, just like in the outdoor seating area. <laughs> so this is literally the next best thing. I'm giving you guys tips. If you guys don't get a reservation for the Kirby Cafe, go order some takeout from the Kirby Cafe, um, and then sit right outside the the cafe. It feels like you're just in the outdoor seating area. Um, so yeah, they didn't have a line for people to wait for cancelled reservations. Look, l no, they don't. Also, would you want to would you want to waste your time uh, on vacation just waiting around for a spot to open up? No, your time on vacation is precious, right? So I'm giving you guys tips. Um, <laughs> that's exactly what I did, Zarek. That's exactly <laughs> that's exactly what I fucking did. Oh my god. Okay. So that was that. Um, also, I went up the Sky Tree, guys. This is Mount Fuji. This is Mount Fuji! Look at it! You can see Mount Fuji from fucking Tokyo. That is the whole Mount Fuji! Literally, that's the whole... You can see it's huge. I zoomed in. Um, 
Yes. Uh, Mount Fuji, if you guys don't know, is like, uh, it's, it's quite far from Tokyo. But if you're up on the sky tree, no, that's a picture of Mount Fuji. Yeah, it's, it's, pre it's because it was, um, it was cloudy that day. So, um, so I went to Mount Fuji before, okay? Um, and every time I went to the Mount Fuji, uh, so I went to Mount Fuji area, right? The Seven Lakes, Kawaguchiko and everything. Um, so whenever you wanted to see Mount Fuji, it was very hard to get a um, clear view of Mount Fuji. He's always surrounded by clouds, always. Always surrounded by clouds, it's really hard. Maybe you can try like noontime, if you're lucky, there are no clouds and it's super, super like clear sky, then you can get like a good, clear picture of Mount Fuji. But otherwise, it's always going to be cloudy as fuck. And this was the best picture I could get from the Tokyo Sky Tree. And it was amazing because I was like, wow, you could actually see Mount Fuji from Tokyo. So if you were in a really, really high rise building um, in Tokyo, you could see Mount Fuji. If you were above, like above the uh, normal building level height in Tokyo, you could actually see um, Mount Fuji, which was amazing to me because that means, because, you know, which kind of makes sense because back in the day with uh, Hokusai, uh, Hokusai's paintings and everything, he painted Mount Fuji uh, based off of Tokyo, right? So he looked at Mount Fuji from Tokyo and painted uh, Mount Fuji and everything in his uh, paintings. And that makes sense because you can actually see Mount Fuji from Tokyo. It was great. It was a it was a beautiful experience. So you guys know because I'm a Disney fan. Um, when I got up to the top of Tokyo Sky Tree, I also found Tokyo Disney Resort. <laughs> <laughs> I found Tokyo Disney Resort as well, and I took many pictures of it. I did not show you guys. I did not upload it, but um, yeah. I also found uh, Tokyo Disney Resort uh, from the t from the Tokyo uh, from the Tokyo Sky Tree. Uh, you could see the Tower of Terror. That's how you know that um, you've spotted Disney. You can see the Tower of Terror and the uh, Mark Twain boat of uh, in Disney Sea, and also the volcano in Disney Sea. Uh, these are the few landmarks that you can spot, and also Tokyo Disneyland Hotel and the Cinderella Castle. All these are like the really tall and and Space Mountain. So like all these are the really tall like landmarks of uh, Disney Resort and uh, you could spot them from uh, the sky tree. It was great. <gasps> so Spiffy, uh, interesting you said. Uh, I did not go because it was very rainy and I wanted to go, but uh, I didn't want to go back to the Mr. Donut, so I did not go. But I did get a Mr. Donut for today um, in Singapore. <laughs> I got a Mr. Donut in Singapore because I missed out in Japan and I got like the sweet potato uh, Mr. Donut, so I'm fine. Okay, which brings us to the next day. Uh, Akihabara, I'm almost done. Sorry guys, it took me a while. Oh wait, I went to Harajuku too and I got some crepes. I got some pumpkin crepes, pumpkin pie crepes uh, in Akihabara. Oh, and I went to the Fender shop. Uh, it's a guitar, it's an electric guitar shop. And they had, they were selling the uh, Monster Hunter collab um, electric guitar. It was great. It was great. It was fantastic. And the only thing I got in um, Harajuku, everybody, uh, were, were stuff for Haru. Haru has a new collar now. She also has a cute, uh, I bought her two collars, uh, a cute vest and leash, and uh, a toy. So the vest and leash is like a strawberry pattern one, is really cute. Um, her new color is a red with a very cute ribbon and a bell. Um, and I got her another fancy color. It's a Marie, a Disney Marie color uh, for special occasions. It's very frilly. So in the nightlife, did you get to go to any bars and stuff? I just walked by. I didn't want to go drinking. Uh, so I just walked by. I didn't drink. The, the whole trip <laughs> I didn't want to <laughs> I'm not a bucket guy Jen. So I'm not gonna do that so next day I went to uh, Akihabara I went to Anime Mandrake and I went to Kotobukiya guys they had the so uh, this was in Animate uh, they had a Yuru Camp uh, collab thing which was super super fucking cute I love Yuru Camp uh, Yuru Camp is one of my favorite things uh, favorite animes to watch and they had a whole life collab. They had a whole life collab. They did. 
Um, you have no idea. It's 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 an anime. You should go watch. Uh, and guys, I got my first ever Hololive Life merch. Uh huh. My first ever Hololive Life merch. I will. Uh, I I I think I took a picture of it earlier. I will upload it on Discord. Uh, later on. Okay. I will upload it on Discord later on. So. I got a acrylic stand of Pecora, uh, Corone, and Fubuki. You haven't seen se neither of five. Only seen up till season two. It's alive and any. So the whole collab like took up like more than half of uh, Kotobukiya, uh, the f the top floor. Uh, the other half was full of like I think there were two other Japanese VTubing agencies and Niji Sanji. They were all crammed up in the. In a in a small area, but it was mostly Hollow Life. It's great. Um, so that was uh, Akihabara. Uh, yeah, there were Orca merch, but my favorite three are Pekora, uh, Koroni, and Fubuki. So I got those. Um, yeah. So this is Kotobukiya. Uh, it was rainy. This was the only day that was super rainy. <laughs> and then I had the best ramen. Nah, this was the ramen I was telling about. It was so fucking good. The ramen that I had. So, it was great. Wait, did I say hi to Archibald? I feel like Archibald said hi earlier and I did not say hi. Anyway, yeah, that was my last day. Um, and that was my last night. The last day, I had this really... I went to the really nice cafe, Komeda's Cafe. Um, it's a really nice like breakfast uh, diner kind of cafe in Japan. Uh, it's a franchise. Uh, started in Nagoya in the 1960s, I think. Uh, they have the best toast with red bean spread I have ever tasted. It was so good. Komeda's Cafe. So I went there for breakfast. Thank you. Thank you. I know I look good. <laughs> Better than Sampote? Um, yes. So I go to Sampote almost every week. <laughs> every other week. I go to Sampote almost every other week because I love Sampote. Uh, in, um, not at that particular branch, Pentazol, but I, yeah, I love Sampote. And this ramen was better than that. Did you get anything to read? Um, so at Akihabara, um, I got those three Hololive merch, I told you, uh, the acrylic stands. And I also got a Sailor Moon uh, art book. Uh, it's a 30th anniversary Sailor Moon art book. Um, I have not unwrapped it yet, but I took a picture of it. I will also post it on Discord. Uh, that's all I got from Akihabara, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I went to Mandrake and I saw a whole bunch of like old NES systems and, and GameCube systems and what have you. It was insane. So, the Komeda's Cafe. Komeda's Cafe has the best toast with uh, red bean spread I've ever tasted. It's so good. Spiffy, you should try it. Komeda's Cafe. So, it's a franchise all over Japan. Uh, it started in Nagoya. It's great. It's, so, they even have Komeda Guy. Uh, they have like a remint of uh, Komeda Cafe. You know what the remint is? Like the small mini figurines and everything uh, with the Komeda Guy. It's really cute. Um, so, Komeda Cowboy Texan Guy. Cute. Um, and I saw Shinjuku Cat. It was really hard to take a picture because Shinjuku Cat was like moving, and it's hard to take a picture with this kind of like 3D holographic um, um, billboard. So it was hard to take a picture, but I saw Shinjuku Cat. I did. It's super cute. Um, I went to a shrine. Um, I went to a shrine um, on the way back, the Hanozono Shinto Shrine. It's in uh, Shinjuku. The Hanazono Shinto Shrine. Uh, one part of it looks fucking creepy. It's fucking creepy. One part of it is so fucking creepy. Uh, so I actually stumbled upon it at night. When I was walking around Kabukito, I, I stumbled upon this uh, shrine at night. And I went in and I was like, oh god. It looks super freaky, guys. It like it was like just out of like a chillest arts game. It was really freaky at night. Uh, it's a fox spirit um, shrine, so you could see like a lot of fox uh, statues. In fact, the fox uh, um, statues, that you, the, the fox painting, uh, you could actually see the exact same replica statues in that shrine. Um, there's one part of the shrine which is not undergoing, actually is really, really old. 
uh, they have not refurbished it yet and that part looks super freaky I went there again in the morning and it was much better <laughs> it was bustling with life I wrote a cool wish and I hung it up and it was nice it's a fox not a cat yeah Cometa's coffee that's a that's exactly it, Spiffy. Cometa's coffee. Cometa's coffee. You got that right. It's Cometa's coffee. So, uh, yeah. What else did I do? Um, had a nice Starbucks. I had the... Uh, in the airport. I had lots of pumpkin spice and... Um, and sweet potato Starbucks. Um, in Japan. And there's a picture of Haru. My mom... Uh, my mom sent a picture of Haru. <laughs> and that's it guys we're done you know a friend who would like to see that the shrine well now you know it's called Hanazono Shrine in Shinjuku yeah it's near Kabukicho so and there you go guys I, I hope you guys enjoyed that um, I hope you guys enjoyed it my little um, did I miss out any stories Yeah, that's it. I think I told you everything. I, th I think I told you guys everything. So yeah, that was my lovely time at um, Japan. Was she happy to see you come home? She was. She was at first confused. She was like, oh, "Mommy's back." When I went to collect her, she was like, oh, "Mommy's back." She was like super happy. So yeah, but it was also good to see that she was happy in my parents' place as well. So that's good, you know. In the future, if I'm going on holidays. Um, which I will be during Christmas again. Uh, she, she will be fine at my parents. <laughs> I know my dad will love to see her. So yeah. Okay, should we take a short break? Holy shit! I thought you abandoned me. Yeah. Should we take a short like five minute break and then we come back and play uh, Crow Country? Are you guys okay with that? I feel like I've been talking for like one and a half hours. Um, did Haru did the happy, happy, happy cat dance? No, she did not. <laughs> she didn't do that. She didn't do that, but she was really happy. Her tail was up and everything. She was like meowing. Are you going away over Christmas? Yes. The last two weeks of December, I will not be streaming. So, yeah. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, again, if you guys missed out the earlier part of stream. Sorry, I was rumbling on for a long time. It's a new artwork done by Midnight Crystal for Halloween this year. Uh, Halloween March is proceeding along well. There will just be some slight delays. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is the official Halloween, uh, Halloween art for this year um, done by Midnight Crystal. And new emote for Bits, a uh, new Bits emote, which is also uploaded on 7TV. And on Discord as an emote and sticker, Belfingy! So. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I've bored you guys enough. Uh, let's take a short five minute break and then when we come back, uh, we'll start Crow Country and we'll finish that uh, rest of uh, stream. Okay? You guys ready for a short break? Let's do this, okay? Thank you for the thingy. Thank you for that thingy. Uh, um. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go stretch your arms and legs, do some push ups, sit ups, uh, go get buff, get some snacks, get some drinks. Uh, I'll see you guys in like five minutes. Okay, everybody. Be right back.
Haru with me. Haru say something? Huh? Wanna say something for her? Wanna say something to everybody? <laughs> I don't think you guys can hear anything. But she's so cute. I can't deal. Um. Yeah, give me a second. Give me a second. Let me try to make myself smaller. Okay, there we go. Okay. I am back and let's start playing game. Ah, Haru. Ah. You wanna be here? You wanna be here, baby? You wanna be here? Good girl, you're so cute. There you go. Okay. You're gonna know. <laughs> it's gonna go down. Uh let me change my game category. Uh, I'm gonna change it to Crow Country and we're gonna play the game now. Alright, uh, let's do this. I completely forgot where I'm at for this game. So. Completely forgot where I'm at in this game, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my mini. Enjoy whatever I was trying to tell you guys uh, about my trip and everything. Hope it didn't bore you guys to death. Uh, also, hope you guys had a great time. Why am I getting bits? Mikan Pachi, how are you doing? Not my birthday. Okay, let's do this. I, I, okay. Um, I need some time to figure out how to do shit. Give me a second, okay? Did we already get the stuff? Okay, okay. Hmm. Okay, let me let me check. This is my I completely forgot. One and a half weeks of not playing anything and I forgot what happened in my game. I forgot what um what I'm supposed to do. What is this? 
Okay, and this is continue. What is this? Oh, okay, that's my... I have three lives, and that is my... Status. I have the bronze key, crank handle, gemstone, chain, woeful mask. I now have a disc, which I can go back and do shit. Uh, silver key, and a trident, handgun. So I should try my best not to use the handgun shit. Magnum rounds, gasoline tank, shotgun shells, shotgun. Uh, okay, so that was L1. How do I escape? Okay. Okay, that's my aim. Good to know. Uh, reload is... Uh, what is this? What is R1? Square is grenade. R1, R2. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna shoot and then reload the game because I just wanna see what what is shoot. Okay, so that is shoot. And that is ah, I see. Okay, let me reload the game now. Remember the joystick moves the character. Thank you. Yeah, I could. I would have never remembered that. I can't remember what is the run. Do you guys remember what the run is? What is this? What is this? Okay, so it's that. What about what, what is what is triangle? Nothing. What is L2? Okay. Triangles, nothing. Uh, what does square do? Okay, lights up. Okay, we're good for now. I think we're good for now. Gumpers, why are you dead? How are you doing, Gumpers? Hope you're doing great. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, let's look at the let's look at the map, shall we? So the circular portions are the portions that uh, still have things that I did not do, I think. Right? Yeah, so uh, in the haunted hilltop, there's the dungeon, I think where I have to use the data disk. And in the theater, there's also something which I don't know. Um, there's also the silver key, which leads to that area in the Crow Country. Um, um, beginning area, there's like two red doors. One door, I think, gets opened by the silver key, which I have now. And in the Ocean Kingdom, there's a bunch of stuff that I have no access to. So that's where we're at, and I think we're gonna go to the dungeon in the Haunted Hilltop. Uh, and start from there. And try our best to not die. Okay, everybody? You're sick? Oh no, guys, can we get some hearts in the chat for Gumpers, please? Gumpers, I hope you I hope you feel better soon. Here you go. Where are my hearts? Where are my fucking hearts? Where's my heart? There. Hope you feel better soon, Gumpers. What if you aim and toggle your flashlight? I have no no clue. <gasps> thank you for the uh, thank you for gigantifying the emotes many times. <laughs> Vince, how are you doing? <gasps> guys, I forgot to tell y'all. Guys, there was actually something very interesting I suppose I forgot to tell you guys about my trip. Not gonna step on you, Vince. So while I was at USJ. Universal Studios Japan. 
another hench peep was also at Universal Studios Japan. Um. <laughs> and I know this because I was on Twitter and I saw that particular hench peep posting um, pictures about Universal Studios Japan. And it wasn't Dango. Um, I'll tell you who it is. I'll tell you who it is. I'll tell you who it is. And in their pictures, I may or may not have been in there because I was also seeing the same thing um, at that time. So yeah. <laughs> nah, I don't think I... I may or may not have been in there. You guys won't be able to tell anyway. I don't... I Even I can't tell. Even I can't tell in the picture. Even I can't tell, so... I think you're fine. Um, it's one of the it's one of the hench peeps. <laughs> I don't think he's here. I don't think he's here. Uh, let me check. I don't think I see him. Uh, I don't think he's here. You guys. <laughs> as hell as it wasn't me. Oh my god. So even if Belle can't tell if she's in the picture or not, we sure as fuck won't be able to. That's true. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you who it is. Uh, was it Waldo? No, it wasn't Waldo. Um, I'll give you a hint. Since you guys are making this into a game, I'll give you guys a hint. Um, this dude is Natsuko's biggest fan. Uh, yeah. Natsuko is my life 2D sister. So you can use that and figure out yourself. <laughs> uh. Um, I don't think he realized that I was also in USJ at that time. <laughs> this is why I intentionally posted my USJ stuff like the next day. I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, USJ was fun. It was really fun though, guys. Um, uh, there were there were Chainsaw Man stuff going on. There was also uh, Detective Conan stuff. Um, there was also. Some Resident Evil thing going up, uh, Biohazard. There was some Biohazard thing going on as well. Um, also, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen uh, stuff. Um, and Demon Slayer uh, shows and things going on in USJ. It was great. It was great. No idea? It's fine. Okay, let's go to the dungeon. Uh, I don't know how to go there, but you know what? Let's just try. We're gonna try our best to run away. Just run. Okay, good. Ah! Fuck, 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 How do I, how do I exit this place? How do I exit this place? How do I exit this place? Oh my god. I forgot this game was, was, was actually kind of terrifying. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Is this haunted mansion area? I forgot this place was actually terrifying. Is this the dungeon? Is this the, oh god, is this the dungeon? No, 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 no. What the fuck? Where am I? That is the dungeon area. Um, there's something here that I didn't do. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 
I don't think I've ever heard you speak Japanese. That's fine. Ah! Okay. Oh, I killed all of them. I had to, guys. I had to. I had to. Okay. There was some data disk thing that I could use here, I remember. Okay. Was it here? Was it here? <gasps> it's here, it's here, it's here. Use item. What am I supposed to do? Juan, how are you doing? A friend of mine was in Japan recently, but not a hench beep. Yeah, so. Let us hear what? In Japanese? Uh, no. <laughs> I am gonna try to do. Um, I don't know if I'll pass because I have no time to study. I'm gonna try to do my N4 exam this year in December. No time to study. I'm, I've been trying my best to try to study a little bit, but don't know if I'll have time. We'll see. Missy, yes, I was in Japan for a vacation, one and a half weeks. That's why. How are you doing, Juan? Guys, I have no fucking clue. Um. Four is easy, okay. Yeah, I mean I passed my N5, but yeah, N4 is easy, okay. I will, I will do my best at N4. Thank you, Swaggy Star. Okay, so there was a mermaid, there was a serpent, there was something else. I think a wolfman and something else, right? So I remember mermaid. Uh, so if I this code is number of arms, number of limbs for each, uh, for each uh, monster, right? So mermaid had zero. Um, uh, legs, but has two arms, has one head, and two eyes. And now I entered the mermaid stuff, guys! This is fucking cool! I got an acid bottle. I don't know why I would need an acid bottle, but okay. So this was what I had to do. Okay. Cool. So what is this thing? This is a big bad wolf. Okay, so he has four four legs. Okay. So now I go back to the data disk here. And the big bad wolf has four legs. No arms, one head, and two eyes. And the big bad wolves. Um, oh, this is fun! I cracked the code, guys. I totally fucking cracked the code. GG Bell. I thought I would do bad, but I cracked the code. Oh, am I supposed to shoot this thing? I'm 100% supposed to shoot this thing. Wait, what what do I have equipped? Please tell me I had my handgun equipped. Was I fucking using shotgun sh sh Yeah. 
Yeah, I had my handgun. Hi, uh, Nif, thank you for that. That's very cute. That's a very cute moth emote. Nif, that's a very cute moth emote. Nihonko, thank you. Shinai no. Look, if you guys want to learn Japanese, there are many ways for you guys to learn. If you guys would like uh, learning Japanese with Bell Stream, I can think of um, doing one uh, soon, sometime. Uh, maybe I'll do one, but not anytime soon. If you guys are interested in learning Japanese with Bell Thing, sure. Gumpers is just laughing his ass off. Okay, fine. I see how this is. What is this next area? It's a violent cyclops. Okay, so the cyclops has one eye. So, let's go back here. So, cyclops has two legs. Two arms. One head and one... No! There we go. Okay, let's go into the Cyclops area. Whee! Oh, there's a med kit! Take it! Oh, I can't believe I can't take the med kits and stuff. Oh, come on! I can't take anything? Okay, fine. Let me use a med kit. Okay, give it to me. There we go. Um, okay, so what's this last one? It's a serpent! Okay, so serpent does not have arms or legs. Why are you laughing, Gumpers? We can watch a Nako-chan vid on stream. Well... I'm not gonna fucking watch another VTubers <laughs> stream on stream, but um, yeah, no. If you guys want to learn Japanese, though, I highly recommend to uh, to 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 watch Nako Chan. I think uh, she's a great VTuber. Uh, who whose whole thing is just to learn Japanese. So if you guys want to learn Japanese, just just watch her stream. She's great. She's a really nice uh, uh, VTuber. She's great. Um, also, if I were to do a learn Japanese with Bell thing, it's going to be a lot more basic. Um, and it's probably going to be a very different concept uh, than what Nako does. So yeah. Wasn't there a manga that evolved entirely about pun battles? Was there? I don't know. Okay, I think we're done here. Okay. Um, let's look at the map. <gasps> we're finally done, I think. Uh, let's see. What, do, what the fuck do I do now? Okay, let's go back to Crow Country and try to use the silver key in that area, in that uh, house area. Which I have no fucking clue, like one of the red uh, doors. I think there's a silver key uh, thing that I can use. And we'll see what I can do. Um, to get into Crow's office, I need a gold key. So I need to find a gold key for that. So, uh, But I think we're done with the dungeon for now. Okay, so if I exit the dungeon right now. And quickly pause. Uh, yeah, the dungeon's done. So let's go to Pro Country area. Oh fuck! 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 Run! 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 Oh fuck! Run! 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 Oh god! 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 Shit, I'm dying. Oh. 
Where is this fucking thing which I'm supposed to be at? What's it? Oh, fuck you! Oh, come on! I hate this. Oh, fuck. Is this the safe room? No, it's not. Where is this place? I mean, the to huh? I am so fucking screwed now. Is this the safe room? Please tell me. It's oh, fuck. Thank you. Holy shit. Okay, what is it gonna give me? Engine car. I okay, I'm I'm not so certain. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say first. Actually, I'm gonna go here. Okay. Uh, what is this? A, B, C, D, huh? Oh, this is going to be a puzzle, isn't it? It's gonna be a fucking puzzle, guys. Okay. Let's just learn all the unsay so words. No, I'm not gonna do that. I don't worry, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that to you guys. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Train car. Oh my gosh. Um What is this? Engine first, second, and third. Where am I gonna get the clues for this? Maybe the clues are here. Okay. A fine steam engine beautifully combining Arabella and Benedette design styles. Okay. Handsome steam engine stylishly combining Arabella and Delilah styles. Hmm. 
So it's something about this this engine and the second car being ah. Hmm. Our Grand Steam Engine elegantly combined all four design styles. During the war, it was used in military to carry artillery. artillery. Yeah, I don't know. This train puzzle. What does it say here? Computer systems, both railway room and dungeon now need the security disk to access. Yes, I know it's inconvenient, but these are the new regulations. Oh, uh, give me a second. Let's try to let's try to Did anything pop up? I no fucking clue. Okay, what was this called again? The Orion's Odyssey? Okay, which one was Orion's Odyssey? This one. Huh, it combines all four. This is... Combining Arabella and Delilah. Oh! Guys! I got it! Arabella and Delilah is the engine and the and the and 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 the th and this and the first car, right? Now, Arabella and Bernadette. Is this engine and the second car? So that engine should be A. Bernadette, that the, the red car should be B. The first car should be C. And the last car should be D. Because it stands for the car, the car names, guys. Say, so look, our Arabella and Delilah, right? A and D. Okay. So the blue... Stop it! Hurry back. And Arabella and Bernadette. Be sure to bring your death certificate. So that 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 second car is B. Okay, guys, I got it. Guys, I got it. I got it, guys. Watch and learn. I got a grenade! No, nothing. <sighs> All four designs. Arabella, Delilah. Uh, and the uh, and and oh fuck. No, it's not. I I don't mm, shit. Okay, let's try it again. So A and B a and B is this, okay? This is A and B. We don't know which one is A. 
and we don't know which one is B. Okay? Uh, we don't know if this engine is A or this engine is A. Or sorry, we don't know if the engine is A or the second card is A. But one of them is A and one of them is B. Okay? Now, this one is A and D. Oh, the color! Guys, the color! It goes by color! Color! Guys, it goes by color! So, I got it too! Okay, this one should be B. And this one should be A. I got something! I got a flamethrower. I got a flame. I got a fucking flamethrower. Guys, I did it. I solved it. I solved it and I got a flamethrower. Okay? This is this is amazing. I totally did amazing things. And Haru is not bored. Sort of. Let me let me save. I totally did amazing things, guys. Okay, now let's look at our map. So we finished the train. Uh, we gotta go back to the theater, I think. Uh, there is a gift shop. I think let's go back to the gift shop. Uh, there, there are things in there which I refused to kill earlier. So let's go back to the gift shop. <laughs> Bell the flamethrower. Everything is going to be fine. Okay guys, everything's going to be fine. <laughs> Let's go to the gift shop right now um, and see what we can do, okay? Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Um, okay, let's see what we can do at the gift shop. I mean, if you die, we can just reload the game, right guys? If you die, we just reload. Everything is going to be fine. Motherfuck. How did I die so much? Did I just... Nope, I'm gonna reload the game. I'm gonna fucking reload the game. Guys, I... <laughs> Guys! Um... I used up all my ammo. My aim is not getting better. It's getting worse. Thank you, Panzer Soul.
god. Okay. This is not good. I hope I get more handgun shells. What the fuck? It's a puzzle. The cash register is a puzzle. It's a mushroom boy! Yes! I'm getting the shotgun, uh... Yes! My capacity is increased. Yes! Yes! Give me that! Wait, what the fuck? Why do I have two shotguns? A golden trident is $4.95. Guys, guys, write this down. I lost to a plate. I did. Um, okay, golden trident is $4.95. Guys, trident is $4.95. Write it down. Yes, thank you. That's for the trident. Okay. Um, and this must be the puzzle. A rubber crow doll with fairy wings. Fairy wings is um how much is it? Ten sixty five. Okay. Stop it, Termi! I will not buy a rubber crow with with for fucking forty nine fifty. What about this? It's a rubber crow with a pumpkin head. That price is ten dollar seventy. Okay. And then, what are their uh, things like that? Eileen, Ilana, Emily? Nope, typical. Okay. It's a stuffed toy! Stuffed crow is. $5.05. Dollars five cents. Stuffed crow. Stuffed. Uh, it's $5.15. Dollars fifteen cents. Okay. There we go. You guys are just like. Th thank you. Thank you, Niv. Thank you. Uh, anything else? Anything else? What? A grenade. Pumpkin head is five dollars fifty cents. <laughs> White wolf just came back from shower. Are we writing random numbers in chat now. Yes. Um. Am I am I buying everything? Ten dollars twenty-five. No, that's not right. Why is this one ten dollars twenty-five cents? And ten dollars. I don't get it. Huh? Guys, wait a minute. They're different prices for different things! And I don't know which thing to use! Mint condition versus outside the box. Gifts for Natalie. Hilltop stuffed toy. Classic crow country. 
rubber doll in fairy tale town action figure. Thanks. Let me know the total I paid. Oh, guys, that's it. That's it. That's it. We need to get a haunted hilltop stuffed toy. The price of that one. C classic Crow Country rubber doll. Cl price of that one. And a fairy tale town action figure. Price of that one. Um, I'm guessing all mint in boxes. Um, and then we input that into that uh, cash register. Okay? Okay. So. Um. Rubber crew doll is $10, everybody. Okay, that's one of them. Right? Yeah. One of them is $10. Okay, let's do math. Everybody, let's do some maths, okay? So $10. Um. Uh, the one with the trident. I don't think she wants that, right? Does she want this one? Yeah, they, they want uh, the haunted stuffed toy, right? $5.50. Right? It was a haunted stuffed toy, was it? I can't! I don't, I don't. Okay, let me read this again. Yeah, a haunted hilltop stuffed toy. Classic Crow Country rubber doll. So we got that. $5.50 and $10. Now we need a fairy tale town action figure. Okay, fairy tale town action figure, guys. Okay, not plush, but action figure. Four dollars twenty-five cents, guys. We got it, guys. Guys, that's our that's our total. Ten dollars plus it's this. Ten dollars plus five dollars fifty cents plus four dollars twenty-five cents. That's uh. 1975. Okay. It's $19.75. Let's go. One. Nine. Seven. Five. Plus six. I got a Magnum! <laughs> Guys, I got a Magnum! I got a fucking Magnum! Woo! Where's my Magnum? Ah, so the Magnum uses the Magnum rounds. Nice. Nice. And nice! Can I please get the shotgun shells? Oh, man. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run immediately to uh, run across to the train room and save the game, okay? I got <laughs> Everything is going to be fine. Oh, you mean that Magnum, the ice cream Magnum? You know, I love a mag. oh fuck. How am I in fairy tale town? No, this is not where I want to go. How did I? Huh? Or I went straight there. How do? How do? I wanted to save, and I went straight there. Guys, <laughs> um, do you all actually like Magnum? Oh god. 
Look, no, Niv, that's not what I meant. I meant the ice cream. Fuck, don't you guys know the Magnum ice cream? What it, What the fuck? Niv, this is a say-so stream. God fucking damn it. I'm talking about Magnum ice cream. I love Magnum ice cream. Um, they actually have like the caramel uh, flavored ones and also the matcha flavored ones. Magnum ice cream. I've, I've actually tasted the matcha flavored ones. Where was it? Uh, let me show you guys. Yeah, the Magnum minis. I love these. Let me show you guys. Ma where is it? This one. Yeah, the matcha Magnum minis. I'm literally saying Magnum ice cream. It's too expensive. Yeah, I hardly get them. But they're nice. I hope you enjoy your uh, ice cream white wolves. Okay. I feel like I need to go to the loo. Maybe I should go to the loo. I'll be right back. Give me a second. Let me go to the loo. Okay, I'm back. Um, I did not. I said I like Magnum ice cream. Come on. Okay, where do we need to go now? I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, I'm still. The gift shop is still not open from that end. Uh, I ran out of the gift shop and I did not open it. I don't know guys Maybe I can go to the Maybe I should go back to my car Maybe my car has like sh Like shit Rado get away from me Maybe my car has like Free shit that I can get Oh god These guys are here too Handgun ammo, yes. Take the fucking ammo. Oh god.
The police officer come by here. Okay, this is like the same thing I, I talked to him before. Okay, is there anything I can do and get? Please. There's a silver grid. Guys, this is, uh, this is the, cr oh my God. GG Bell. What secrets do I get? A shoebox? What the fuck? Why am I getting... Are you? I got running shoes. What? Ooh, I got... I unlocked super speed! Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Guys, I did it. I did it. Yeah, he's still here. I'm I'm now Sonic. I'm now Sonic, guys. Silver Owls, how are you doing? Hope you had fun. I did have fun. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a good I hope you had a good stream. Oh shit. Now I'm about to die. Okay, here's the here's the deal. I need to save. Um, because if I don't save, I'm gonna die. Okay. You gotta work days for next few months. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Silver Owls. Here guys, can we get some hearts and Jeff for Silver Owls? I hope I hope um, I hope he goes by really really quick, and I hope it's not too painful. Where's my Where's my hearts? There you go. I hope it's not too painful. And you only have a limited amount of saves. I no, I don't have a limited amount of saves. I can save anytime I want, but I need to go back and save. Okay, give me a second. So here. Um, I haven't exited the gift shop from that red entrance, but I need to go save. I'm really, really fucking um, paranoid right now. I feel like I'm gonna die. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to the Ocean Kingdom. I'm gonna save and then go back to the Ocean Kingdom. There are three doors there that I haven't done. The theater, I still have no fucking clue how to do it. Um, three. Oh, am I supposed to use the guys? I know what to do for the theater because there were some sprinklers at the theater. Remember, I'm supposed to use the flamethrower in the theater. I think. I don't know. Well, let's just go to the Ocean Kingdom first, okay? And see what we can do. Um,. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, we're just we're just gonna do that and see what happens. Okay, let's do this. I hope I don't die. I don't have any more medicines. Oh, this mother. Waiting to fucking ambush me right there. I'm safe. Oh, this is a lot faster than before. Okay, let's go. Going to uh, Ocean Kingdom, which is to the left. Okay. I hope I know what my left is. No, right. Fuck. I'm I'm dying.
Um, where am I? Oh, I'm here. No, I need to get to the other place. This is not where I wanted to go. Okay. this no this is a game okay how do i get to oh i do not know how to read a map apparently guys i don't know how to read a map it's nothing surprising but yeah i don't know how to read a map it was right here oh believe for the oh fuck I'm about to die. I gotta use the flamethrower. I'm about to fucking die. What should you get for lunch? I don't know. Something that doesn't kill you. The fuck is this? I'm gonna reload that save. I'm gonna fucking reload that save. And you go to ocean? Okay, this is where I go to ocean, uh, the ocean kingdom again. I hope you have a good lunch, uh, Babo. I do love some um, ham and Swiss on rye bread. Oh my gosh, Reuben sandwich is great. Actually, great. I hope you have a delicious lunch. to die. Okay, equip the flame drawer. Okay, it's equipped. dying the fuck this motherfucker needs to die <laughs> it's 
Stop it! <gasps> He's granting me another wish! Yes! I have a gold-plated magnum revolves with what? Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight times? Okay, what am I gonna need that for though? Eight times. Eight times. Putting eight times. <gasps> Is this a secret for the for the other haunted mansion? Five times I do I, I I ring the bell eight times. There's a secret. Matryoshka goes with the with, with the golden gun. I know, right? Oh my gosh! It's because you get hit so often and miss everyone else. Thank thank you, White Wolf. Thank you. The gold makes you stronger. Gold finger. Um. Okay. I think we're done with the storm. I need to save though, very desperately. Uh, but... And now that we've got the gold magnum... Uh, I feel like we should... Um, Here. I see the swan. Oh, oh fuck you! There is a metal octopus sitting in the tree. How am I supposed to know what I'm supposed to? Oh, I'm supposed to throw a grenade in there. I see. Throw the grenade. Oh, come on! Fuck you. Um, I need to know the, the solution to this puzzle though. One from this 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 one. 
Eight from um this hooting bird. Am I am I am I getting something? Or am I just doing bullshit? Oh fuck. I feel like I need to I need to I need to kill this other monster for me to get the 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 code. I'm guessing it's going to be like a four numbered code. What is the number though? Yeah, take that, motherfucker. One, eight... Come on! Give me a number! Give me two numbers. Thank you guys. Thank thank you. Thank you. Is 1825? This one looks more like a 2. But it's also a 1. Where do you get the fucking 5 from then? Oh, because the other animatronic bird uh, um hoots 5 times? So it's 1825? That's a very fucking obscure number. Because the ones here is one and and eight, and then here looks like a two, and the other uh, animatronic bird does five. You get the five from the fake. Oh, shut up! Okay, wait. Let's try one eight two five. I swear, if it's not one eight two five, I'm gonna scream. Oh, it's one eight two five! Thank you guys. I got Magnum ammo. I'll take that. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, thank you. Uh, let's see. I really want to save. <laughs> I keep saying I want to save, but I haven't saved yet. <laughs> I haven't fucking saved yet. No! Oh my god. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Um, oh, maybe we can go back to the dungeon and grab stuff because I know there are some uh, additional things that I have not gotten yet. Uh, the dungeon here in the in the haunted hilltop. There were some additional things that I did not manage to get yet uh, because I w it was full for me. The my my pack was full, so I need to try to save and then run to the haunted hilltop. Okay, so how do I save? I think I'll try to go to the submarine. Okay, there we go. I'm I'm back seated with random numbers, but it totally worked, guys. Totally fucking worked. Thank you. I think we're making progress. Somehow we're making progress, even though I have no idea about the shit I'm doing right now. 
I'm just going to places and trying to solve things. I <laughs> I'm going to places and trying to solve things and that's it. I don't know what I'm doing. Um So now we're going to go to the dungeon again because I feel like there's some shit that I can grab from there, some free shit. Um so we're gonna do that. We're gonna go back to Haunted Hilltop, okay? And once I'm done with that, we'll try to figure out what to do then again. Okay, now we're back in Crow Country. Holy fuck. Okay, now we're back in Haunted Hilltop. Where's the dungeon again? Okay, it's the immediate first one. Just let me fucking go, goddammit! Why would you let me fucking go? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna try... Wait, did I save? I saved in the submarine, right? Yeah, I saved in the submarine. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, let's try this again. Congrats on accidentally brute forcing a. B I know, right? Okay, let's do this again. Let's do this again. Without dying. If brute force doesn't work, I'm not using enough brute. Makes sense. Okay. Okay, that was better. Let's grab all the things here. I know there were several things here, right? That I couldn't grab the last time because I had a full inventory. Well, guess what? I don't have a full inventory now. So give it to me. Oh, do I need to work the computer again? Okay, let's do the mermaid. Mermaid has no legs, has two arms, one head, and two eyes. There we go. Do not tell me I can't grab shit. Thank you. Okay. So we grab the antidote. Now, which one was this next one? Was it the wolf? I think it's the wolf. Okay. So if it's the wolf, it's four legs. No uh, one one hit. It's not a Cerberus. Uh yeah. Okay. There's some shit here. I'm I'm pretty certain there's some shit here. Right? Oh come on! I was pretty certain there was there was lots of shit here. What is this? Cyclops. Okay. So Iron Maiden. Oh! <gasps> I just realized something. I just realized something. The Iron Maiden. What if we tried a human? Wait, let me let me let me try let me try the Cyclops first, okay? And then and then we'll try a human and see what happens. It, will that open the Iron Maiden? Interesting. Okay, got some shotgun shells. Anything else? No? 
Okay. I think we got everything from here. But now, let's do the... Let's do a human and see what happens. Two legs, two arms, one head, and two eyes. What happens? Is anything happening? Is anything happening? Yeah, I tried to shoot the bottle. Um, apparently, nothing's happening. Oh, there's nothing? Complain from a parent about the depiction of an alcohol memory. Okay, blah blah blah. Told us not alcohol, but um, bottle of highly corrosive acid. Okay. I think I think we can go inside the Iron Maiden. What? Oh no! Could we have gone inside the Iron Maiden before? I know what we can do. We can go to the haunted manor uh, and ring the doorbell eight times and see what happens. Is there a safe, any a safe anywhere here? I don't think there's a safe anywhere here. Uh, I think I'm really fucking screwed. Um Yeah, let's just do that, okay? Oh boy. Motherfucker, just stay away from me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can I cannot deal with this thing. I'm going to die. I'm fucking going to die.
Also some fucking magnum ammo. Ah, stop it! I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck. Okay, you know what? Oh god. Okay, where did I... Where? Oh, I was at the submarine. Kill it with fire. Okay, what do we have to do again? Um... Ah, uh, yeah, we went to the... The dungeon to collect stuff. Right? I feel like there is a lot of things here that we have not done in the haunted hilltop. We'll go to the dungeon, uh, then go to the crypt. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill all those motherfuckers. So that my way is clear. We'll go to the dungeon, go to the haunted manor, go to the crypt, go to the utility corridor, save. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, everybody? Okay. We, we got this. Somehow. Okay. We got this. You're off to bed? Okay. Kill it with fire? Okay. Um. Have a good night's sleep. G Green, have a good night's sleep. Let's do this. Actually, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Let's see if I can save here. Yeah, there's a save point here. Let's see if I can go save here first. Now she, now she has super speed. Okay. Let's see if. Was there a Jido on bikey here? I could have sworn. Hi. Okay. I'm really zooming with these shoes, guys. Okay, let's do the mermaid first. Out of the sea, wish I can be part of their world. Yeah! Do little mermaid. Let's grab that. Now oh, let's do Wolfie. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Big bad wolf. Big bad wolf. Ooh, na 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 Eh? 
Isn't this the big bad wolf? Ah, there we go. There's nothing here. Really? Thought there would be things here. Okay. Uh, the last one is a cyclops, and then I'll set it to human, I think. I'm not sure if this. we're done here and we're let's set it to human i think there might be something it says torture device i'm pretty sure there's a puzzle here and some secret puzzle maybe something unlocked somewhere i don't know okay where do we, where are we going next um haunted manor Uh, actually, let's go save at the utility corridor and then go to the haunted manor and then the crib. Okay, guys, we're gonna run straight out. Okay, let's save. Okay. Now let's go. <laughs> I like I like the sound the shoes make. Stay dead. Hate this group. You see? See that motherfucker? You die. You die today. Okay, they're both dead. Oh shit, these small fucks are still there. Oh fuck. There! They're all motherfucking dead! Take that, assholes! Oh, God. <laughs> Give me something, please! Fuck you! You wanna really fuck with me? Fuck. Die! I have a fucking gold magnum! Stay away from me! Can I shoot the crows? No, I'm not gonna waste my... Okay. I'm gonna ring the doorbell eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Grab the magnet memo. There we go. Uh, now we're gonna save. Uh, yeah, we're gonna save. How's the ammo supply looking? It's okay, I think. Somewhat. 
At least I'm out. At last I'm out. Well, GG, Hunter Claw. Coming for the huggies. I, I hate that one. I hate that one. The one with the arms outstretched. It's so annoying. I feel like even though with how, how cool this aesthetic is for Crow Country, you know, it's, it's really nice and everything, but... Um, honestly, the... The monsters are still very freaky. Let me go explore the crypt a little bit more and then uh, we'll, we'll... This crypt. And then we'll um, uh, go back into the manor and see if there's anything. I'm pretty sure there's a secret or two that I did not get. Pretty sure. Is there nothing else here? Hello, Kabosian. How are you doing? Wait, what? This leads me back here? Wait, are you for real? By the way, when you were on vacation, they showed PV7 for Inazuma. Wait, give me a second. Motherfucker tried to poison me. Okay. Did we already finish this one? a wax figure what there's a drawer built into huh ophelia pike atlanta westview hospital nurse oh she's a nurse first aid handbook there's some good information in here should probably put it to good use i got a med kit improved what Okay, I need to cure myself first. Um, I got an improved med kit. What does that mean? Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna go and save. <laughs> it is truly a labyrinth. So the PV sum for Inazuma, um, 500 plus 500 more characters character creator so you can make you an in-game and customizable city so you can visit friends online oh my god that actually sounds pretty cool locker you will heal more hp oh that's what it is it means that your med kits are now improved okay okay that's actually pretty cool now let's go back into the manor because i'm pretty sure there was at least one or two puzzles i have not done Although it doesn't pop up, but I'm very sure it did not do something. Well, let's see if there's anything we can do now. I hope all the monsters stay dead. I'm sorry, if the monsters come back, I'm gonna cry. Oh god, fuck you! Let's go back in there. Okay. Why?! Use a fucking shotgun on these motherfuckers. I hate this grabby one. I swear.
Nope. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... I wasted too much. <laughs> is this what people say? This, this, is this the safe scumming thing that people do? For games? Is, is this safe scumming? Am I so evil? I don't think so. Okay, let's go back in here. Oh god. It's a window? There's something wrong with it? No shit, it's glowing green. That's a fake. Why is this thing on fire? Nope, I'm not gonna take the book. I was told not to take touch the books. Uh Hi Ghosty! Harmony will fade. Okay, this fade. I did that. Mm. That's the death one. song in a cage oh this is the one that i didn't do the cage one right One handing a, a sword off. What, what's a sword off? I, I I don't know what a sword off is, but um. Oh no. Okay. I I feel like I need to um. I feel like I need to save. I'm at a point where I'm gonna die soon. Um, is there a save point in the staff hallway? No. I'm gonna go back to the utility corridor and try to save.
Okay. <gasps> okay, we're we're so good at I sort of gun. Oh, you mean the gun? Oh, oh, I see. That's what you mean. Sort of gun. I don't know. I guess she is. Um, she's one-handing it. Okay, where the fuck am I? Okay, I'm gonna go back into the manor and try to go back up here. Because there's Crow's office. Let's see if we can do something there and then maybe go into the theater from there. Okay? That's our plan. Okay, everybody? Everybody happy with that plan? We're gonna go into the staff hallway and then go into the theater from there. Okay, everybody? Oh, boy. I... I hope this is good. Let's do this. What if you say no? Still gonna do it. Uh, I think I need to... Play a different set of notes. I remember correctly, it was death or dead or did or something. Yeah, this one. Why is it creepily open? Why are these motherfuckers here? Completely fucking wasted. Okay, I'm gonna reload the save. <laughs> <coughs> that was complete fucking bust. Okay, let me find a different way to, to enter uh, that area. Oh boy. You saw it? Good for you. Are you making saw pun jokes now? Okay, uh... I still can't enter... If I run straight to the haunted manor... Take a hard... Uh, where do I go then? Hmm... Yeah, I don't... Mm. I don't know. Uh, okay, we're gonna try to the theater, go to the theater. I mean, that's the only thing marked on our map that we have not done yet. Uh, that I think we can do. I haven't been to the delivery garage yet. Why haven't I been to the delivery garage yet? Huh. Well, 
Well, correction, there are two things I can do. I can do the theater and I can do the delivery garage. Let's do the theater first, okay? I think that's the only other thing we can do. Yep. Mm, let's do that. Let's see what happens. Sorry, what? Coffee, did he just say you never get death ray? Did he just say you never get death ray, Coffee? What? That's for being overconfident and cocky. Said smiling. <laughs> oh shit, he's a big one, he's a big one, he's a big one, guys, he's a big one. Oh fuck, he's a big one. Guys, guys, guys. No, 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 no. this place wait what there's a dude who's dead I got some ammo though for free oh no Oh no! Staff memo. The following doors are now locked electronically. Mermaid, Cyclops, Wolf, Serpent, and Crypt. Ophelia. I was supposed to come here! That would tell me Ophelia! They can open by the dungeons. And that's what we did! And we did this. We finished that. Okay, fine. We finished it without your stupid fucking memo! Okay. Edward has pulled all the funding for uh, Cosmic Future. And uh, we've halted the construction. He said it was just a temporary delay, and but I can tell he's lying. Something is seriously wrong with Edward. He looks sick, but at the same time, there's some kind of manic energy in his eyes. I asked Tolman about it, but he gave me the silent treatment. Treatment. So whatever it is, I think they're on it, in on it together. I tried to spy on Edward and Tol Tolman during their meeting, and it sounded like they were trying to talk to someone, a third person in the room who wasn't talking back. But they were talking like how you talk to a baby or a young child speaking slowly, using simple language. What the hell is going on? So yeah. Yeah, when she when she runs full speed, she, her sneakers make like a very cute, uh, a, a, a squishy squishy sound. It almost sounds like you know when a toddler, you know a toddler, you know you know those squishy uh, toddler shoes. Uh, whenever like small baby toddlers uh, walk, they have like a squishy sound. It almost sort of like reminds me of that. Uh, it sounded like they were trying to talk to someone, a third person in the room who wasn't talking back. Um, but they were talking like how you talk to a baby or a young child speaking slowly using simple language. What the hell is going on? Press play. This is a message for Edward Crow from Douglas Pike. Edward, we've been friends for over 30 years. 
You've entrusted me with the running of your theme park, a task I've relished. You have always shown me kindness and, I've, and always paid me well for my work. However, I can no longer remain silent. Edward Crow, your crimes have not gone unnoticed. Nor will your sins go unpunished. As for Elaine Mar... Elaine! Wait, am I Elaine? I hope she never forgives us. For none of us deserve it. Goodbye. I remember... It's all coming back to me now. It's all coming back. It's coming back to me now. So I remember, guys. I remember, uh, like, um, two weeks ago when we were playing. Um, I remember that... I predicted that I that Mara is Elaine, right? I remember. Okay, I see. So I am Elaine, the girl. The girl who was injured previously. Okay. I don't like the sound. This is a bad sound. Edward has his uh, office door electrified decently high voltage too. I turned off all the mains power, but the door was still electrified. So I think he must have hooked it up to a generator somewhere in the underground level. Oh fuck. Do I need to take the, el uh, the elevator down? Okay. I kind of want to know... Northeast. I don't know where this is gonna take us. Holy fuck. Huh? Break the girl's head to get a key? North, it's Kanye, Kanye West kid. Break the girl's head to get a key. Oh shit, these motherfuckers are here. Oh, there's a next kid. Oh, fuck! Did I get him? Shit, it's these things. Did I just Ah no, motherfucker? No, I gotta do this again. Fuck. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> I feel we should stop here because I think I think um if I progress further I don't know if there will be any um save points though. And we can continue from uh from here tomorrow. So what we can do is Tomorrow what we'll do, we'll go up to the Haunted Manor Do the Pike's office thing again And then um, Either go down the theater, go to the theater or do go down the uh, elevator I think we'll do the elevator thing, go down the elevator 
and then um, find out what's going on below go up the theater uh, see what's up there and maybe try to go to the delivery garage I've never been to the delivery garage uh, near Ocean Kingdom okay so that's our hopefully we can finish the game tomorrow um, those of you guys who have played the game before do you know if I'm um, actually approaching the end I hope I am Do you guys know if I'm approaching the... I hope I am approaching the end. So hopefully we can finish this game tomorrow, everybody, okay? So that's the plan. Um, I'm gonna try to finish the game tomorrow, hopefully. Okay? So uh, that's where we're at. On Friday, we're gonna continue with Pokemon. Or I might just switch it up to Stardew Valley. Depends on how I feel. On Saturday... Um, I was supposed to play Dead by, Dale Death, uh, Dead by Daylight with you guys, DVD. But... I'm so tired and I don't feel um, I'm so tired and really don't feel like playing DVD yet so I'm pushing DVD um, for November and playing platform I'm playing a more chill game platform 8 which is a lot like exit 8 in fact I think it's a sequel to exit 8 so that's gonna be fun and relaxing we're gonna be playing uh, hopefully no no big jump scares I don't know we'll see so we'll play platform 8 and then uh, party games on Saturday okay Technically, as long as he keep playing, he will push the end. <laughs> no shit! Okay, let's see who we can go raid. Let's go ki raid uh, Ducky. Okay, everybody. We'll go raid uh, Ducky. Alright. Um, let's raid Ducky. He's playing some silent... No, he's playing Grand Theft Auto 5. So, uh, let's go play... Uh, let's go raid Ducky. Um, I actually have Grand Theft Auto 5. I kind of want to play it at some point. I actually have... Uh, I bought that game like two years ago or something. And I have not played that game. So yeah, anyway. Let's go. Nice to have you back. Thank you. Um, yeah, so that's where we're going to be for today, everybody. I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Let's kill Ducky with tons of kindness. Here are the raid commands. If you're subbed, you can use that one. If you're not subbed, you can use this one. Let me set up raid command. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, so let's kill Ducky with tons of kindness. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Crow Country. Hopefully, we're finishing it. So yeah. Uh, stay safe and stay evil, everybody. <gasps>